chat. How's it going? Hold up. Am I muted? No, I'm fine, right? I should be fine. All right. Hello. Hi. How are you guys? I don't have hand tracking today for some reason. It's not tracking my hands. Uh, but I'm, I promise I'm waving. I promise I'm waving. Hello. Hey, hey. How are you guys today? Music is distorting. What? Huh? Is anyone else feeling like the music is distorting or is it another one of Ao's um, comments? Um, anyway, I hope you guys are doing uh, well. Am I on the PlayStation 3? Maybe, maybe. Maybe I am. There's no music playing? What? Can you guys not hear my Spotify? There's music, right? We should be listening to Dolly Parton right now. No? Well, okay, okay. <laughs> All right. So I hope you guys are having a great a great day. I thought I was going to be late for stream. Fortunately, we managed to uh, do it okay. Um, for some reason, unfortunately, my hand tracking is not working for some reason. Um, I don't know why. I don't know why because everything seems to be doing fine. It all says that like it says that it's tracking, but for some reason it's not. So, um, so yeah, like, uh, <laughs> I guess I'm, I'm stuck in this pose. Can I? No, I, I don't want to. I, I was going to like, should I like get up and do some stuff? But I think it's probably best not to. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys are having a great day. Yeah, we're working 9 to 5. That's that's it. That was the vibe today. That was the vibe today. Even though it's 6 p.m. <laughs> it is 6 p.m. and it's stream time. Oh, my goodness. But I hope everyone's doing amazing. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, so today I just wanted to, you know, chat and hang out. And, uh, yeah, just uh, talk about whatever's going on in our lives. And um, maybe watch some videos. That, that was kind of the idea. You guys know... I'm not very confident in my just chatting. Uh, ah! Okay, yeah, thank you for that. I'll drink, I'll drink. Uh, <laughs> you guys know I'm not, like, super confident in my, um, in my just chatting skills, but hopefully, uh, yeah, hopefully we can, uh, we can watch some videos or something. I, I feel like, I feel like yapping. I just feel like, you know, hanging out and, um, in yapping and, uh, watching stuff. And uh, all that stuff. That's basically that's basically what I feel like doing. Um, yeah. So that that that's that's that, that's basically it. We, I don't know. I got some meme compilations for you guys. Um, I got. I I don't know. I don't I don't have much else. I feel like everything on YouTube. I feel, at least like this month, for me, like everything on YouTube feels like it's somehow like Mr. Beast related and like drama related and. I don't know, I feel like YouTube has been, like, really negative this month. I don't know if anyone else feels this way. But I just feel like, overall, um, YouTube has been, like... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, not a very, like, kind place to be in, I guess. Isa, thank you for the Prime. Hello, thank you so much for the four months. Thank you. You're, you're an inspiration with and the wonderful people. And, and your community, community too. Everyone, everyone is so amazing. amazing. He's a 785 love, even though I don't talk that much. I love being here or on thank Discord. Thank you, Isa, thank especially you. Especially sharing and seeing the community's art. Thank you, that's very kind of you. <laughs> love. I'm glad you enjoy the community. Sure. Love, Mariki Bongo. Yeah, so all I've been watching is YouTube drama. Yeah, it's the same thing for me. I just feel like everything is like, yeah. Like, I get it, the Mr. Beast stuff is very big, but like, not everyone and their mom needs to be talking about it. At least that's, at least that's how I feel. Uh, suggestion for a video, Petit Sekai. There are 10 episodes, it's on YouTube, it's a mini-series based off of game Project Sekai. Uh, I mean, sure, we could watch that. Um, I don't know, I just feel like we could watch something that, uh, you know, we can comment on and, like, chat, but if a lot of people want to do that, then I'm, I'm, I'm down. I'm down. There are still just, I mean, isn't it all just allegations? I mean, there's a lot of stuff that has proof and stuff but yeah like i don't know i just kind of wanted i just kind of wanted a little bit of more positive vibes you know uh but at the same time i want to yap I, I i i like this course but i i don't know i just feel like drama and those sorts of things are not like very 
don't get me wrong like i'm very opinionated you guys know me i'm <laughs> I, I i you know i'm very a little bit too opinionated uh for my own good sometimes um but um i don't know i just feel like i just feel like uh all the negativity and like all the drama channels and all that stuff. I, I, I don't vibe with that. I don't know. <clears throat> um, unless he comes out proving anything is just accusation. I mean, that's... You, you, don't, you, don't, you don't necessarily need a confession to prove something, right? So yeah, I've watched six hours of Mr. Beast drama. Six hours! That's a lot. I've watched like maybe one hour. I watched the, the dog guy video, dog pack guy video i watched both of them and like uh yeah i i i'm yeah like i don't even like mr beast that much to begin with so whatever <laughs> like i'm just kind of whatever happens happens like i enjoy watching his videos but it is what it is you know um but yeah i don't know summer was good it's been it's been good um vacation is over except for in a month i'm going to paris i'm going to visit paris with neff uh, we're going for about a week, so that's gonna be cool. Um, but other than that, like, I feel like my vacation is completely over. I've been working very hard on a debut on in in October. I think I cooked something cool. Like, I hope I hope the stream is like a good experience for you guys, like a good visual experience and a good like uh, experience overall for everyone. So that's uh, yeah, I'm excited for that. <laughs> so yeah, that's uh. That's that. That's basically it. <laughs> I'm glad you guys like the artwork. I'm glad you guys like all of that stuff. But uh, but yeah, I I don't know. I used to watch a lot of drama videos when I draw. Yeah, I feel like I don't know. I feel like I never really learn much with like drama. I I, I don't know. I don't know. I I I have you know. I I even have like friends who cover drama. Uh, like on their own channels and that kind of stuff. It's just something that I would rather like not. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I I just feel like you don't really learn much in general. And um, I'm trying to like pick my words carefully here. Like I feel like you don't really learn much with those things. And at the same time, you don't really get much out of it. You know, like, oh yeah, now you know that this person is a weirdo. And like, yeah, maybe you feel a little better about yourself. But other than that, I feel like, I, I don't know, at least it's not for me. But that's fair, right? It's like, there's content for everyone, in my opinion. So that's it. Of course, like, I'm not above anyone. I like a good, like, sometimes I, I'm nosy, right? <laughs> Why aren't we all a little bit nosy sometimes? Um, but, um... But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. When it comes to, like, these big creators and stuff, I'd just rather, like... Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, we just started. I, I have some dank memes open. Do you guys want to watch some dank memes? Oh, I feel like... um, I should probably... So, if I'm going to upload this VOD to YouTube... I probably should not mute it, right? Because if I mute the VOD, then, like, there's going to be no point in this, right? So, you know what? You know what? I'm going to change, like, my sound uh, settings real quick while we listen to uh, Bruno Mars. And uh, where's that? So, Google Chrome goes to Wavelink Game. Okay, this should work. Let me just check. Yeah, okay, awesome. It's working. That's good. So, yeah. I was thinking we could watch some some memes. We could watch some art videos. I don't know. I'm down to doing like anything. I'm I'm down to talking about the women in One Piece, as this video is called. I'm down to uh, yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. More bad news on Mr. Beast. <laughs> That's all I get recommended. That's all I get recommended. It's all I'm down to watching Point Crow eat water with chopsticks. I'm I'm down to whatever. Honestly. So, so yeah. <laughs> oh, it's everywhere. It's just everywhere. Um, there's actually a video from Point Crow I haven't watched yet, which is the Point Crow um, playing Tears of the Kingdom while blindfolded. And I think that's, like, so interesting. And I would like to watch that. But I think the video is, like, two hours long. I don't know if you guys would be down to watch that. Uh, so, so, yeah. <laughs> Cringy gotcha videos. What's that like? Genshin? 
cringe. Sorry, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know how that can be uh, content. Uh, do you know about Pegasus, the guy who has been milking the drama shamelessly? Uh, I, I don't know them by name, no. Uh, I, I don't know them by name. Videos made by... Oh, I'm not... No, yeah, videos made by kids, like, that's just not my kind of content in general. Uh, One Piece laugh compilation. What, to recognize the characters by their laugh? <laughs> I used to do this thing called, like, a One Pieceable. Which is like Wordle, but like One Piece, and they give you like a laugh of a character, and you're supposed to guess, and it's so hard. Um, gotcha Life. Oh yeah, sorry, I don't know what that is. I I hate that there's that game called Gotcha Life. So now everyone who talks about gotcha games, they mean that thing instead of actual gotcha games. You know, I don't really get it. <laughs> that's that that's a depressing one. That's a depressing one. No 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 no, we're not laughing at the No 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 no. Anyway, let me know if you guys can hear uh, the Danky memes. Can you guys hear it? Okay, yeah, yeah, it begins. All right, all right. This video is already demonetized. Like, if it's going on YouTube, <laughs> but it's okay. It's okay. The Chinese part of me is always like, oh, Sierra, find a nice Chinese boy to date. And then the Japanese part of me is like, no, 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 find a nice Japanese boy to date, right? And then mm. the American part of me is like, I don't know, they're all yellow to me. Like, just, <laughs> just pick one. Like, um. there's like a bajillion of you guys. You do the math. <laughs> I guess typically better at that. So. Oh no, Th that, this is why people say women aren't funny. I also, I don't speak either language. I only speak English. So what? It's weird. I'll go to like a Chinese restaurant, and they're always coming at me. Like, I'm sorry. Wait, what? what? <laughs> sorry, you know, no wobble chingless. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, okay, I gotta, I, I gotta be, I gotta be real. I gotta be real. Like, I feel like. Is this that offensive because like it's already been done to death? So at this point it's just kind of like you roll your eyes and that's it. But it's just unfunny. It's just unfunny as heck. What the fuck? What, what is she talking about? Like, girl, yeah, I get it. You're American and you're ignorant. That That's it. That's it. Wait, dank memes are usually funny. Are they not funny now? I'm, I'm upset at this. The fuck? That was stupid. Are they? All right. All right, send me better memes then, chat. I just opened this compilation. I'm like, all right, we get like this, uh, I guess, Asian American lady being racist, whatever. Send me, send me the good stuff, chat. What the fuck? Okay, no, I'm not, I'm not fucking with this video. I'm not fucking with this video. Sorry, chat. I chose the wrong one. I chose a bad video here. I thought these videos were good. The danky memes. Are danky memes not good anymore? They used to be funny. Mm. Yeah, they're not that funny anymore. I see. So it's been a while since I last watched them. I'm down to watching something else. Uh, tiny wizard gnome with a bug net called Crawly. Oh, uh, do I? Is that the, the get gnome meme thing? You know what? I want to watch Point Crow beat, um, beat uh, Tears of the Kingdom with eyes closed. Um... I don't know. I don't know what it's called. Point crow. Oh yeah. Can I beat breath? Oh, this is a uh, Breath of the Wild. But he did Tears of the Kingdom. V. S. Thank you so much for the four you. months. Thank Your you. Your model is, is very beautiful, beautiful and adorable as always. <laughs> love you and keep up the awesome work. Thank you. Love, Thank you so much. I appreciate that a lot. Love. I'm sorry I picked the shitty a shitty video. Um, I really enjoyed Smith's video on Tears of. That was my favorite video of Smith's. I gotta be honest, I think it's a very, very good video. Uh, but I, I'm I'm kind of curious to know how t Point Grow beat Tears of the Kingdom with his eyes closed. Um, so if you guys are down to watching this with me at least a little bit, uh, you know, I, 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 would, I, I, would, I would like that. I would like that. I think that would be cool. Because this seems really interesting, but I can't, I haven't really found, like, you know, I guess, uh, oh wait, Chad is in front of his face. <laughs> hold up, hold up. Let me let me put you guys in uh better chat new. There you go. There you guys are. Uh, I'm gonna put you guys here. Uh but then you're gonna be in front of me. Hmm. Maybe here. 
Chad, you guys go up here. How's that? Mm -hmm. The pet's not working. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I forgot to turn that off. No, I don't think it works. But you can throw stuff at me. <laughs> that works. Yeah, I forgot it doesn't work. Damn it. Hmm. Chat can be like a prison. I think, yeah, it's it's good like this, right? <clears throat> Maybe uh, viewer rewards, channel points. I'm going to turn off the, the pets so that more people don't like spend their points. There we go. Feed me. Ah! No! No, no, no. <laughs> yes, you can throw stuff at. What do you mean, thank God? No! Ah! No! Okay. Fuck that. Fuck that, honestly. Fuck that. <laughs> I don't like that. I don't appreciate that. Anyway, I'm gonna watch Point Crow do stuff. I'm gonna watch Point Crow do stuff and. Uh, Catching yeah. Zelda. It's right. Okay, wait. This Go back. is Tears of the Kingdom blindfolded and how I did it. And yes, yeah. this is the entire game of Zelda beaten without looking at the game whatsoever. That's so crazy to me. I watched a couple of streams of him doing Island, this. Traversing the overworld and, making and it's like Ganon's insane army, to me. That someone himself, would, uh, you know, take on such a massive Zelda. challenge. I don't know and if he's the first uh, one to do it. Is, at the end is one of the hardest things but, uh, to do blindfolded. I'm not yeah. even joking. I, I, we'll I don't know. I think it's crazy. explain how I managed to do all of this and the insane strategies I have to navigate. Like, the speedrun uses two different controllers. Yeah, he probably uh, builds ground, stuff. It has Amiibo, and there's so many small quirks I'm Amiibo. so excited to tell you all about. Don't worry as well. If there's any questions you have about this speedrun, I'll be answering it in this video. Okay. Uh, if you see something cool and I don't immediately explain it, I will at some point where it makes the most sense. Okay. And when I say okay. this is okay. a deep dive, I mean it. I mean, no, this is not a debut. Is, well, I'm blindfolded, so I can't see Yo, anything. Snake Man, thank you for the 11 months. Happy 11 months. Thank, thank you. I can't believe it's all, It's almost been a year already. That's crazy. Welcome right on in. Uh, listening to the cogs spinning. That is crazy. Else, um, that the game's going on. Now, specifically, you're going to see a lot of peculiar movement in this game. Uh, like, for example, right here, uh, I'm going to hear for the little of going on to the little step and then i'm going to hop about Why? nine times uh before stopping right here and that's where we get to like the crux of blindfolded speed runs it's called huh. normalized movement now yeah I that's kind of the game, thing right like you need to set up everything to set up your positioning and, like and everywhere I hear things so the way that i know where i am in the game is by yeah. moving in ways that are standardized like hopping yeah you gotta I do set up the exact distance link travels when he hops so by time yeah, to time does distance, fly, right? Exactly how far it's I'm awful. <laughs> I feel like every year it like goes by faster. A on this jump pad here, there are places in the game that will move you to certain positions for mm, certain mm. actions. And if you know what those positions are... Oh yeah, he knows know Hyrule so well. Game. He's been doing, like, GeoGuessr, which is very funny, I think. And he gets so it very well. That are very peculiar. He's like, like the like, rainbow of Zelda. Um, <laughs> I end up getting this chest uh, with pants and i kid you not this is actually one of the most important things of the entire run because okay. you cannot complete this route of tears of the kingdom without wearing no pants. no we're not doing it's a hydrate chain no, and no, you no, actually no. can't even like beat the game without pants like, <laughs> you're not you're not throwing water at me where you have to take off your pants and then put them back on and then take them off again we'll get to that i'll explain exactly why what? later uh but that's the beginning segment of it Another thing I want to explain. What if it falls like outside of the water? Uh, you probably saw at the very beginning of the video that the timer in the upper left corner uh, started at six minutes and forty seconds. Now that's called intro. It'll be the game blindfolded and with his hands. Intro, so he's done uh, of Breath of the Wild game. and Tears of the Kingdom at the, the same time, like with uh, one controller. Ow! Watch the hype train anyway. Thank you, Shlama. You didn't have to throw me that, though. The only worst thing is that I'm able to listen to Why? Okay, I'll drink. I'll drink. It's so simple that it's just basically among runners for blindfolded tears. I don't appreciate that. Known as basically a auto scroller. If now, you don't get level. Right here, it's actually a really interesting strat and something we use. Yeah, Shlama just throwing stuff at me. Where we dive into the water, we Shaking my head. Game, and then we actually instantly. Oh, I know why he saves here. Now, he saves like, here because why, then when he loads, he's already like in a good position. The game doesn't like it when you yeah. try to place Link in water when you save Link. Yeah, this part I knew. And so what it'll this do I already is knew. it'll actually place Link. I do need hydration. Yeah, but my hair has been washed. My hair is washed. I don't need to wash it again. Here on that save file. So you'll always recognize. There you go. Yeah, see, he's not in the water anymore. 
at the very center it's so of crazy that place, you have to set up everything you gotta step twice yeah, to the left to get here, you know and every single stick. item that we pick up during this yeah, i did if he landed on the lily pad yeah he just dies the like link just breaks his head <laughs> that we need for the run nothing miscellaneous nothing extra because we're going to be doing a lot of menuing and there's nothing worse than a cluttered inventory while you're blindfolded this is so like yes. insane have you guys seen the mario 64 runs blindfolded those are now, so we get interesting this cut scene particularly because uh over to the right here you can see that there's well the lack of a bridge and the only way to make that bridge appear is by talking to this particular NPC. okay the wide yeah i don't know how he's gonna the like npc's radius of which stuff. you can talk to it is pretty generous i haven't seen those yeah a couple they, of it, that, that's like a speedrun category on mario 64. it's very like sound the based you gotta do setups like get this as well like you gotta do three steps time. to the side in the order to like where we can uh, be right in front of this thing get all four you know? shrines across the i saw a video exposing a cheating blindfolded speedrun oh my god that's funny that's that's really funny each one of those i so i've been really into monster hunter recently and um you know in order to so the best way you can and, like um, improve your challenge you know improve your gameplay is by watching speedruns because run. the way speed speed running speedrunning works is you gotta know the monster like routes. the back of your hand <laughs> right and you gotta like you react to every of each insane. like uh, options because it's like it's like an AI, run. right? Like the monster has AI, right there. and um, it's <laughs> like RNG where yeah, the monster like sometimes does like do a tail flip, right or it does like um I don't know, it runs to you or it spits fire, whatever, right? Oh, well, hey, Alpha. Um, so yeah, that's that's kind of how it works. Um, so we're gonna jump. So basically, what you do is you uh, see like what the monster is gonna do, and then you immediately uh, react to it, and you do the counterplay, right? Uh, and the reason being oh, we missed the hype train. Oh, it is what it is. Now, see, <laughs> it's okay. Um, uh, but, uh, but, uh, but, uh, but, uh, but this, this, this is, is to say that, um, so speedrunning is, like, the best way to play the game, technically, the game, because, like, you're doing the most in damage spot. in the least amount Just of time, right? Because you want to kill the monster sometimes. very, very quickly. So very small areas um, so I've been playing Dual Blades, right, for, like, 200 hours now. And, and I was like, okay, I'm going to watch some speedrunners of Dual Blades. And I saw this guy who beat, like, this super strong monster in, like, two minutes or whatever, which is insane. Like, runs usually take me, like, 10 to 20 minutes. Usually, like, of the, like, the harder monsters. Uh, so the guy does it with like in like six, uh, four minutes or two minutes or whatever. And I was like, okay, holy Back crap, I'm going to study this guy like so well. And then can you believe that three days later, this, after I discovered this guy from the speedrun, so he gets caught cheating. I have that he was like manipulating so the AI there, of the monster uh, to, to do safety, uh, always like the same uh, movements. So in the certain order. So so basically he was cheating on his speedruns. And I was like, man, I was learning from you. <laughs> hey, Cloudy, you're back in Portugal. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Go <laughs> let's go and a huge important thing about the blindfolded <clears throat> speed run for some reason every time link dives it reminds me of exactly peter where you are what i don't know ah, no don't do that really cool i'm actually watching no need to hydrate me like this time right now mm. as we are commentating this so it's pretty cool. back to the motherland the españita <laughs> i'm not rocket. falling for that bait it, don't worry. i'm not falling uh, for the bait <laughs> The normalized movement here is to <laughs> as many right angles and corners as possible. Please, it's not in that corner and I can jump up to here and always be in that spot every oh my goodness. time that I try to get in that spot. That's why corners are so valuable. It's so and crazy that he knows where he's going. I'm not paying attention to the video at all, but that's really okay. hard because <laughs> as you can see, there are a bunch of different edges and corners that aren't 90 degrees. Oh my goodness. Uh, oh, which makes it very strange. So you can see we're in the corner right here. And we uh -huh. need to get to the Temple of Time, which is above this uh, little staircase. Input. Okay. We're going to do a Good little job. save. Because we falamos portugueses agora sim, agora nós temos são bilingues, nós agora falamos duas línguas. So Por isso, yeah. Would you we recommend going to Canada? No. This construct, a completely Canada blind. is very expensive. Uh, so we throw the tree branch to uh, get it off center, and then uh, we go up forward, and then we try to... Yeah, imagine like memorizing all of this. That's the thing. Like, it's a big run to it memorize. It's sword. I, I, so, so I, I've seen like game. Point Crow do like a bunch of streams of this, and it's like, it's incredible. Now, but what we also do here no, is there's there's a that's kind of gross. Well, fuck you. Scoping. And you scope, scope right there because in case Link ever changes his angle, the scope will always 
reset the camera in that exact spot all the time. Ah. We pick up the horn and the charge, and then we menu. And I'm then sorry, sword, I feel like I'm not respecting uh, Mr. The Eric horn Winkrow. horn will always enough. be in the left corner because we don't want this horn at all. So then we take that left corner and then we drop it immediately. Oh yeah, because he doesn't want like a full inventory. I see, I see. That's so crazy. The only thing I have in my, so in my inventory in the stock tipo gringo. Is that what they're gonna Isso é muito that funny. Was, uh, really fast. That was actually first try. I never He's really too far gone, chat. At all. There's a lot to be explained there, and don't worry, I'll go over it. You again, have a least favorite uh, art style or something artists do that you really dislike? Um, but there's a lot of camera mm, manipulation, and there's a lot of really. uh, links mm. angle and position manipulation to make sure that I'm always in the exact I probably spot that do, I think I am. but I can't really of, think of, of anything right now. Here, I'm going to think about it, and if I come up with something, I'll let you know. Just general ideas. You can see right here, I failed it. A least favorite art style or like this segment right here. But I, I probably it, but do because I know generally where I am. I'm able to fix it on the fly. I'm sure I do, but like I don't sure really like I when people like airbrush everything. Where like in, a lot, uh, the physics engine fails me. But I feel I like a lot of the times that's I, more uh, of a like something, technique thing, lack of um, technique than so like a style. Uh, we save here and we do a really um, cool thing. I don't know if you noticed there, but we actually. But I'm sure I have. I'm sure, sure, sure saving. I have stuff. In that. And this is a really cool strategy developed by Crystal Saber. Hey, Coggy. Hey, hey, username. You, uh, you are new here. Welcome on but in. This guy had the and Via Core as well. Welcome, to, guys. Uh, basically, come up with this strategy where. How is if my how is the phone? And I have oh. my shield unequipped. I phone know turned off the tracking. Reload, that's cool. That's I don't know how my phone has been uh, connected to the I computer all this time. Made. Because this yeah, the iPhone has been connecting to the my computer all this time. It'll just come to up with a right, because I, I need the face tracking. Uh, okay, cool. And it's been you know, loading, like uh, charging, I mean, all this time. But like somehow right here, it's a 20%. It's that's great. Saves, that's great. Uh, after we get the sky stream. I eat that because we don't actually need it. You can do airbrush, uh, but I mean, like, it's it's a very specific look. I used to airbrush everything. Yeah, that's it. That's It's the muddy look. But I feel like that's more like a technical uh, so basically, uh, thing uh, than uh, a style shield thing, is I would say. I can always check this. Styles I don't like. Unequipped, then it's a manual I don't know. Save, and my, if my shield is I'll be equipped, honest. I, I'm not. I'm not a huge fan of like the has so been hotel style. Much less believable. I know gasp. Uh, I know. Or, you know, but like I'm not a huge less, fan of it. Uh, sort of trusting of. But like I'm not. A, I'm not going to say I hate it. It was like my least favorite. It's just You'll something here, I don't uh, really. Doing some fuck camera with, uh, manipulation and everything. That's fine. It's more of a beginner thing. Yeah, because people are still getting uh, used to like the, here, once again, the, the, shield, the brushes and stuff and like observation and stuff. I feel like one of the harder parts about soft shading is um. Uh, while blind, knowing what to do, like kind of crazy, what to airbrush uh, and what, exactly like know knowing what to are, blur and what uh, to do in cell shading. Because uh, I feel like good soft shading blind, is a good mix little, like, of cell blind, and soft shading. Uh, so like cell shading and blur slash airbrush, X's, in my opinion. Uh, up there and then a diagonal X mm -hmm. and then one more X and then you're on the top. Uh, it's normalized movement. If you can divine do skeleton death blast, over that's over crazy. Then you'll How do you deal with art block? No I what. get inspired uh, so by case, things that inspire uh, me. You just keep walking forward. I watch kind of art works. I like. Uh, this I do studies of things. Of like I go issues. do anatomy oh, studies, all that sort of thing. And, and I get very inspired uh, by a lot of things. Zone. But you can see the way that we actually deal with this construct is really interesting. Because we head into this corner. It's hard to show good it is. It's really hard. But we know where the construct is in the case that it actually lights its but I do, on fire. I do have uh, a right. so pet peeve when it comes to artists. I, I wanna, I'm, I'm going to add a marker. A, a spin attack uh, pet peeve I know he gets up and then generally so moves towards me. So I, just I do have a pet peeve when it comes to artists. And, kill him. and see Link was looking to the right like, so please don't... Please don't take this like the wrong way and please don't think I'm hating on people by saying this like that's not my goal at all um but I do have a little pet peeve when it comes to uh artists and I guess you can call it like the art community whatever and I see this a lot in like academic um academic context um especially from like not from professors but mostly from like art students which is like so the people who like so we used to draw like anime and stuff uh so people go from drawing in an anime style uh, uh, to this like either semi-realistic manhwa style you know like kind of like kufshinovili uh or like uh sakimichan or uh what's that girl's name that no one likes uh Cooling, you know, like those styles. Like people go from drawing anime to drawing in those kind of like more 
I guess, semi-realistic styles. And then they start, or, or they go to this, these more like cartoonish styles, like a uh, has-been hotel, etc. And then they start shitting on anime. And then they start like shitting on anime styles and being like, oh yeah, anime is a phase. And like, oh yeah, it's so cringe like to draw anime. And like, they, they, they treat anime styles as if they're like less... Uh, less talented like they, they treat anime styles as if they're like um less uh, hard or you know or like less valid just because oh yeah now i'm over anime and they're drawing in styles that are literally like anime adjacent and anime inspired um and that like pisses me off a lot because people like the disrespect i see a lot of artists have for anime styles when they draw in like anime adj adjacent styles um it's so insane to me like how can you look oops sorry how can you look at artists like i don't know like uh umakoshi yoshihiko or yoshinari -yo or you know whatever like uh the you know a bunch of mangaka or like really fucking talented crazy good at drawing animators oh, yes! and be like oh yeah Elara, hello thank you so much for the raid welcome on in hi writers <laughs> hello heavy metal ray let's go <laughs> hi hello hello that's a big raid how was beams how was the stream how was the stream i hope it was good welcome on in guys my name is marty i'm an artist and vtuber from portugal and today i just wanted to chill with my community i just wanted to like hang out um I just wanted to hang out and uh, watch some videos, but like right now I was I was ranting a little bit about uh, something that artists do um, That is uh, disrespect anime and anime styles and I see this a lot from like Artists who draw in like anime adjacent styles <laughs> And yeah, I was just uh, talking about that a little bit. I hope you guys had a great stream Welcome on it. I like your art. I like watching your shorts. Well, thank you. I appreciate that I appreciate that a lot. <laughs> and thank you for the shout out as well to Elara. So yeah, I yeah, I'm 3D as well today. Usually I'm live 2D, but today I decided to uh, just watch some videos and stuff. But we're, we're I'm not really paying attention to this video right now. I'm sorry, Point Crow. <laughs> Elara decided to throw a tantrum and stop using her hands acting like a sassy lost child. So my hands are not tracking today for some reason on Warudo. I don't really understand why. But here we are, here we are. <laughs> Fortunately, I'm holding my knee right right this. Actually, I'm I'm in the same pose, IRL, which is crazy. She lost her arm privileges. I think we both did. Wait, is Alara using uh Warudo today? Cuz if so, I also don't have arm privilege today. <laughs> I don't know why that is. The reason why that's not good for blindfold speedrunning is Oh, it was on VR chat. Oh, maybe, maybe. I wonder if it's like all arms are like on strike or something. It could be. It could be. That could be. That was gonna fall asleep. It's okay. My my bed's very fluffy. And I'm very light. The, this 3D model has no mass. It's zero mass. <laughs> so we were also watching um, Point Crow do Tears of the Kingdom while blindfolded, and he's explaining the process. And it's very funny because he's like, um, he has like a lot of setups that he does in order to know where he is. That's very, very, very cool. The arms took a vacation. Yeah, the, honestly, I think I, I think that's valid. Did you make that model? Now all my credits are on my credits section on my credits session here on my Twitch. Um, it was not made by me. No, I commissioned this model. I paid someone to make it. A feather could probably solo Marius. Yeah, no, this is like, it's zero mass, zero kill. Do you know, do you know the, the me? I mean, it can't be zero mass, but like, do you know that, that video where the rat is like, jumps off a building and keeps running because it has no fall damage because it's so light? That's me. That That's my 3D model. It's all, it, it's got nothing inside it. <laughs> it's hollow. <laughs> it's hollow. But yeah, anime adjacent styles are still anime adjacent, you know. And uh, it makes me very sad when I see people disrespect anime and anime styles in general. Because I know 
you know, like, I, I, I admire, you know, Umakoshi Yoshihiko sensei, uh, Naoki Saito sensei, uh, Yoshinari Yo sensei. So, like, all those people, I, like, I admire them a lot. Elara, no problem, no problem, cutie. Thank you so much for rating. I appreciate that. I understand you gotta, you gotta undress, take that all off. <laughs> But yeah, like, it really bothers me when people disrespect anime like that because they're like, oh yeah, anime is just, like, cringe boobs and whatever. And it's like, um... And yeah, like, that, that's, that, that's the thing that bothers me. It's that when people disrespect anime, especially when it's artists who have anime-adjacent styles, you know, like all those styles used in uh, manhwa or, like, semi-realistic anime styles that are so trendy nowadays. And then they disrespect anime, which is basically like the foundation of everything they're making right now. And uh, same thing for VTubers. Uh, same thing for VTubers. Um, give me just a second, chat. I'm sorry. So uh, my mom kept calling me and Nef kept calling me, which I, I think it's probably something urgent. Give me just a, a second. I'm just going to pick up my phone. Um, some memorization of what to do, but then what you do is you want to just kind of run and then hope you make it across uh, and you don't get into the river there. And then what you specifically know is that the wall is on your right side and you're looking for the part of the wall that isn't ice. So if you try to climb this and you hear links slide down because they'll slide down when there's you know, ice here, uh, then you'll know, okay, cool. We're not on this segment of the wall. We need to try to uh, find the part of the wall that is climbable without ice. So me, knowing that it's probably to the right here, we end up finding... Uh, okay, uh, I'm back, I'm back, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, it, it, like, it really bothers me because it's like, um... It's, it's the foundation of all these... It's the foundation of modern cartoons as well. It's the foundation of most, like, semi-realistic styles that you see nowadays. And it's definitely the foundation of VTubers. So, it's like... Meanwhile, it works like Pentian Stalking show what artist experience in anime. Yeah, so Pentian Stalking is Yoshinari Yosensei's uh, art, or so like it's his work. But like, I don't think anime, I, I don't think you need to do something amazing in order to deserve like respect. You know, in my opinion, like, excuse me, I don't think you need to. I, I, I don't know, like, I don't think you need to, like, be do something completely outside of the box and new in order to be respected. You know, I think regular moe is respectable. It's, you know, it's respectable. Uh, I also feel like, uh, yeah, people, yeah, it's the separation between style and skill. Yeah, like, people immediately, like, look at anime art and be, and... I don't know, there's like this disrespect, uh, which like I don't understand. It's like it, it really bothers me, and especially VTubers. I hate it when VTubers like trash talk anime. Like it, it's like you're free to like not like anime and not and not watch it, but like also please understand that your very existence is on the shoulders of, you know, the work of dozens of mangaka and animators and stuff that made made you know all all the anime that exists and all that stuff so i don't know i think there's amazing there's amazing people working on shows and even on like the cringe shows there's incredibly talented people from character designers to animators to mangaka to story writers to voice actors to all that stuff and i don't know it bothers me that like anime became this like thing that it's okay to shit on uh, because it's cringe lemao, you know, and it's like, or it's for kids lemao. Um, I don't know, I, I feel like as much as cringe as it can be, and it can be, definitely, it can really be like, it can definitely be cringe, for sure. Um, I don't know, like, I think disrespecting, like, <laughs> disrespecting the whole thing, I don't know, it, it's, it's bad to me, and I see a lot of artists do that. Kind of so that's my pet peeve with, like, artists when it comes to, like, anime. Like, people treat anime like a phase, and there's nothing wrong with it not being a phase. There's a lot of skill that goes into, like, anime art and anime styles and all that stuff. <clears throat> I just got here from a raid, but I haven't eaten yet. Of course, yeah! Of course, go eat, please get some rest. If you want to come back later, that's totally fine. If not, that's cool as well. Um... 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course, you need to learn anatomy to to stylize it for anime styles and all that stuff. Yeah, for sure. Did you see the new anime coming out that is 3D? Uh, there's a lot of anime coming out. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. It's like, it doesn't have to be. Like, it can be a phase. It doesn't have to be a phase, but like... If you're if you have an anime phase and then you have a manhwa phase and you treat anime like it's stupid, I'm I'm just gonna be like, girl, like are you for real? Like you know, manhwa is basically anime, it's Korean like anime style, or manga style, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> what are your thoughts on the Clash series having an anime esque animations in their games? I I don't have any opinions because I have no idea what that is, but why not? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of 3D anime for sure. I still need to watch Hoseki no Kuni. Uh, I don't know. I think I think there's nothing wrong with... Uh, like, I think it's okay even if you don't like it. But the lack of respect for, you know, like, a bunch of incredibly talented, like, uh, artists is, is uncalled for. That's all. I wish people would be more respectful in general. And I see this a lot in, like I was saying, like an academic, um, like in an academic uh, con context where people get to college drawing anime and then suddenly they change to like this more like cartoonish, illustrator-ish uh, feel and then they start like shitting on... Uh, Oh no. Okay, Point Crow doesn't know where he is now. Oh no, he needs to cut the other thing. Oh, this sucks. And part of the issue oh no! <laughs> Which sure game do you think has the worst venom? I don't know, sorry. <laughs> I have no idea. I think anything with lots of shipping in it, probably. People get really toxic when it comes to shipping. You can dislike, disrespect is completely different. Yeah, sure. That's fair. I don't think you also have to like everything about everything. You don't have to like every aspect of anime. You don't have to like every aspect of cartoons or of VTubers, whatever. <clears throat> the colored stereotype, yeah. <laughs> I see what you mean. I don't know. I don't really know. Doesn't Manuel also have a certain type of cringe shit too? I mean, I feel like a anything, any type of fiction that is written by humans is gonna be a little, like, is gonna have some cringe. Oh no! Boy okay, he managed to do it. Good. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Anime took inspiration from classic Disney. Yes, that's true. Especially, um, uh, you know, Snow White, which came out in the 30s. That, that was like. I believe Osamu Tezuka was like very inspired by that. If they shit on anime, they shit on classic Disney. Mm, I don't know. I don't know about that. I think it's been long enough that they became like their own thing. Um, but I, but like I understand what you mean. At, as like, um, as it stands, like all these things have all these other inspirations, and uh, and there's a lot of work put into referencing work and all that stuff. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know. You mean manhwa or webtoons? Uh, aren't webtoons? Manhwa is Korean comics, right? Korean web comics, as far as I understand it. And webtoon is just a platform where you post manhwa, right? Or like web comics. So I think webtoons can be manhwa, but not all of manhwa is webtoon. <clears throat> so I, I'm, I'm, I did mean manhwa. They are different. Oh, I see. I thought webtoons was just the the platform where you post comics. You have a webtoon. You have um, what's the other neighbor? Tapas as well. So you're about to see here that we're gonna hop 15 times to the right and then four upwards. He's gonna hop 15 times to the right. I'm going to be in that position at once. 
Sometimes webtoons we are run, everything that you read on your there, device. I'd have to either count link steps, which is a lot harder, I, or count time, like digitally. I don't harder. think so that's. Easier way to ensure I don't think that's uh, it, but like I'm not am. like very uh, knowledgeable uh, about it. Hop here, but then um, there's um, another example of why we run in certain cases. So we hop here until we use ascend. Uh, we get up here, and then you'll see that we run immediately. I, I believe that's website. like, it's because the Webtoon format, right? That they use on Webtoon, but uh, so Webtoon is... And then we go all the way down this... But uh, Webtoon is the we'll platform. at a cliff. Uh, or like a wall right in front of us. And so I don't have to actually know... Exactly Mongo was inspired by Scrooge. Is. No, Mongo started uh, like... Hops because I just needed to a know little earlier. Like, walk it, you you can you can't even count... Here. Uh, uh, ukiyo-e as, as like the beginning of this manga. This segment, by the way, is probably one of the hardest. Manwa and manga can be webtoons. Uh, it is incredibly difficult, and I cannot overstate. Yeah, if you post if you post them uh, on the webtoon the we platform. The speed run is. It's not this segment. Uh, it's the one right afterwards. Uh, but this is why we actually get all of the zonai charges and duplicate them. I believe. For the ascend shrine, it's because we're gambling. Yeah, it's really cool if you actually open your inventory right next to the uh, gamba spot right over here. Uh, it'll open uh, to the materials part of the inventory uh, immediately. This is such a crazy project. Sorry, the more so sometimes I'm I'm looking at this like Legend of Zelda like is in Tears of the run and it's like devices from one of these I don't know, dude. Machines. Like, and we want to particularly get all four <laughs> the effort that went into this is crazy. Oh, guys, give me just a second. Sorry, I'll be right back. I got some issues to take care of. And that's why we had fifteen of them uh, that we do. Uh, we're gonna do the extra five here that we did. So we have a total of twenty. Uh, and uh, afterwards, uh, we're going to actually open my inventory one more time because I want to ensure that I don't have any left. Inventory management. You don't want what you don't need. Uh, we just go forward to change Link's position, and then we're going to get all four. You can hear it by the jingle. That's two jingles. We're going to pick up a couple more, and then there we go. Three jingles, and then the fourth one. So now I've ensured that I have all of them. Similar to what we did with the Zonai charge, you can actually duplicate Zonai devices with something called Zonai sort duplication. So once you have one of the item, you actually have basically infinite of the item, which is a really unique thing and a really cool thing with glitches in Tears of the Kingdom. So this thing coming up right here, this segment is probably one of the hardest things of Tears of the Kingdom, and I am it's it's crazy. It's actually insane. We're gonna do Zonai sword duplication here to ensure that we have more than one wing. Uh, by navigating uh, there, pressing sort, and then going right one to ensure that, you know, there's a lot of menu manipulation and tricks to make sure that you're on what you think you're on. Um, a lot of it has to do with sorting. But basically, if you take out your uh, Zonai devices, uh, you hold them, and then press Y and B, similar to what you did with the item, then you'll actually end up uh, uh, duplicating. Okay, I'm back. And we're gonna need okay. a lot of them. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, not right now. I'm back, I'm back. Yeah, my voice is better. It's a little bit better. Further on coming up right here. Uh, in my <sighs> opinion, all so, right uh this what mm. we're trying to do right now is we're trying to go to the second yeah i'm okay that was just like a, a cider bottle that i have i've that. had we're for a couple of days on my desk i should probably us, clean up clean that up to glide um in midair across the entirety of the great yeah yeah, the yeah i um, and in order for i wish people that, we need to count to I, I wish people were a little more humble sometimes and understood like the, the case. Uh, the that we're that we're all standing on the shoulders of giants you know the of the wind. that's kind of how uh, i feel a couple other things where it's like okay oh, i'm getting you know, sleepy I oh my god count, uh, basically <sighs> a bars of music and all yeah stuff. i am new here well welcome on in hello with, uh, for this part of the strategy if you guys are dueling a metronome and i said it's a 60 bpm <laughs> i had to count to 42 um, in order I was there in your now, throat wasn't well. It, going to fail this this is crazy to me. The stream where I did not have my microphone on, the stream where I had my mic off and I was in complete silence, is one of my most watched VODs like here on Twitch. Explain it to me, chat. Hmm? Explain it to me. Explain. Why? 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 Why do you guys? Why? Why do you guys watch my streams more when I don't talk in them? Hmm? Why? Explain it to me. Why? As if I was an internal metronome. We have to shield bash it around. Explain it to me. Personal space. Yeah, I'll get even closer. I'll get even closer. Huh? Why? Why do you? Why do you not watch me when I'm when I'm talking? Do you do you guys want do you guys want me to not yap that much? 
Is that it? Is that what it is? By doing that, we'll actually miss the little island. I might eat you, chat. And make it towards the fuse shrine. It's like how Amaranth gets more viewers when she's asleep. That's messed up. That's messed up. You guys should want to hear me yap all the time. Can we? Can I make this back? Okay. It was around here, right? But the glider heads yeah, downwards, that's fine. Uh, towards the huge Personal line. space invaded. We're yes, that's the beautiful thing about uh, 3D bit. is that I can do this and much. Ah! Get off of me! Stop that! About this. Stop <laughs> that! Incredibly precise with this. That's why we have to count to 42 seconds. You yap too much. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to entertain. Is, uh, trying to entertain. Of the glider. We all like the pretty art. Mm hmm. Is, mm hmm. Uh, if we actually manage to land yeah. the glider or not. Now, you like uh, it? Yeah, side. yeah, However, yeah. We are close to it. Yeah, uh, yeah, so yeah. I got humbled. Yeah, I did. I sure did. Maybe I'll probably just probably I'll just be quiet right and watch the point crow video. Generally, in my notes, this is literally echo <laughs> location. Um, <laughs> guys are so to mean to me. To I've literally uh, never done anything I wrong. Generally, so that I can see where the shrine I'm literally is. so right nice here, to all of you all the time. You guys uh, are indicator, evil to You know what? I'm not even going to be on the screen. You guys don't want to watch me anyway. You guys, you guys would rather I'm quiet and I'm like on a different, in a different room. Might as well just do this, you know. The audio for the ground segment right here. We might as well just watch a point crow stream. You know, At this point, versus the gravel of the shrine right here mm -hmm. is actually louder by wearing. Beep, 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 beep. Like, oh, so Did you guys know that Point Crow is on the um, uh, when you on the One Piece server that I'm on? <laughs> I'm not even joking. <laughs> He's a One Piece I'm enjoyer. Oh, by the way, we, yeah, we got this basically first try. Wow, it's just an art stream. It's just so just insane. chat stream. Should I expect silence? Well, well, yeah. Holy I'm not gonna talk God, anymore. I'm not gonna talk anymore. Oh, thanks, Past Eric. You're so cool. I can't believe we've gotten that down to be so consistent. I have to count to 42 seconds uh, perfectly. Wait, what? Yeah, shield bash on the yeah there, it, this, this is a crazy, like, for the rest of the run this is a crazy later, thing. I want to see him, like, fight the uh, the uh, monsters, the like, the final bosses and stuff. That's one of the reasons why we actually wear pants <clears throat> during the run. Later, we My goodness. To get to Ganon and beat him, but don't worry. Yeah, how are you going to beat right Ganon without seeing? That's what I'm, that's what I'm, like, curious about. really cool thing that was added by Tears of the Kingdom, where you can... Uh, get weapons and then you can fuse things to your weapons or fuse things to your arrows. Imagine he fuses the wrong thing to his weapon. So he fuses like I don't know, like some uh, very crazy niche shit. And very important. But once we pick up this new claymore here, which has a lot more durability and uh, a lot more things, it'll actually automatically equip it so we don't have to do some manually. We walk 13 steps here, we use the fuse to uh, attach the rock here and that will allow us to break these oh i love this game i gotta replay tears of the kingdom this game's so fucking good sometimes i forget like how good this game is you know for this claymore i'm so glad we picked this thing up uh we can do a new looking strategy instead of like weirdly buffering and camera locking and everything if you swing uh -huh. and then hold your uh oh you uh, you turn right around like that then it'll move link's angle without having to move his position oh uh, that's crazy second, uh, but we're gonna do something uh, really cool so one of it's so crazy to, like how much uh, stuff you gotta do to I mean your bow yeah games are not down, made for uh, people who aren't uh, seeing uh, them right? chest that holds a key and by I mean it's a video game right it's a video literally on it and then canceling the scope by taking <sighs> your bow and then attaching a fire fruit to it, it it'll actually make you look up so every single time you scope with mm -hmm. your uh, mm -hmm. pure pad replay i didn't finish it yet oh my god i i i just played that game an ungodly amount of time and i just finished i played as much as i like physically could i played i played so many hours of that game when it came out it was insane it was right after my debut too yeah wait it came out right after my debut that puzzle and very fast uh, you can see we can't so here, yeah i did stream it one time left without doing any cinema but then i just we played like oh i played uh, so much uh, tears of the kingdom right we jump back and then we <sighs> a whole bunch of time and th that's another thing too. i'm so sleepy it allows you to hi mari hello in small uh, different ways We're going well to come on in book. look right there um and, oh it's uh, cool it's, it's, i it's yeah we never noticed nice these things that the game does for us unless until until like we need them for setups and stuff that's crazy 
Uh, what we're doing right here is... I've tried coffee. Uh, I don't really drink coffee. I, I know I could, but, like, it's not something I'm really interested in doing. Another thing of inventory management, you only want the things that you want to use in your inventory. So you don't need to use fire fruit ever again for the rest of the entire run. You might as well drop it so it doesn't clutter up. Okay, how is he going to beat this guy? This is actually no deal whatsoever. If you run past it in a certain way, it'll never actually hit you because you're close enough. And I've also heard that coffee, so there's studies now, like coffee doesn't really remove your sleepiness, like it doesn't make you less sleepy. It just keeps you awake, like one of my favorite ones. longer and like so i'm not at risk of falling asleep i'm just sleepy to don't drink too much coffee would be bad mind, for your health yeah that's also there's also that the rest of the game, we have and it also makes you go to the bathroom a lot sky island uh, and we're about halfway through here now let me explain a little bit more about that Looking coffee display uh, isn't good that's true that's true as well strategy that we have here it's another way that we use i could turn uh, this stream into a sleeping uh, one i could <laughs> i just have to sleep on a chair Imagine like a sleeping cool stream where I'm just like, yeah, yeah, guys, I'm sleeping. And then I just leave the room and I go do something else in another room. And my character is sleeping. Vanilla coffee Starbucks capsules. I'm not a huge fan of vanilla. Um... Uh, because a lot of the time you'll have to uh but um one way or another and it'll who knows maybe and, and it gets more views god i hate you i hate you so much don't do this to me what if it got more views that's fucked up this segment is a very nerve-wracking uh that's fucked up you'll see why in a second you sleep talk and say something else so amaranth um she did get more views during her sleep streams um, she said it was probably because she always had, like, a countdown to the, to the alarm clock. Um, and she thought that, like, or n not a, a, a countdown necessarily, but, like, she would have a thing on the on screen that said, like, alarm, alarm rings at 9 or something. And close to 9, a lot of people would come and, like, watch her wake up because they were expecting something unexpected to happen. Like, imagine, like, she would forget she's on stream and she, like, I don't know, like, takes off her clothes or something. Um, so that that was her theory about it. Um, yeah. <laughs> if those got more views, I don't even know. I don't even know. I'll be very sad. I'd be very sad. I still don't know what types of streams do better. It's like, I feel like it's such a... Uh, it's such a um, a hard thing to like predict. So we have to take our shield off in order to do the segment. In general. <laughs> Yo, Rick, thank you so much for the tier one. Oh my god. You're saying me a heart and not a poop? What's wrong? What's 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 gonna happen next? It's gonna start raining dogs. Thank you for the 30 months. That's a long ass time. I appreciate it. They watch her sleep because horny. I mean, why else would you watch Amaranth? You know what I mean? Like, Amaranth is mixed content for horny people. Heartwarming Rickles is a heart emoji instead of a poop emoji. Never seen before. <laughs> Never seen before. <laughs> they transform me to Rickles. Oh, God. Third shrine, which is Ultra Hand. And Ultra Hand is probably the first shrine that you grab during your playthrough, but it's going to be our third. Uh, another I can't believe. We indicate where we are and I'm still shocked that he always knows where he is. And then just walk forward until we like, how do you memorize this route? You gotta memorize it, like, really, really well. And, go we and you're blindfolded, so it's not like you can, like, really check your notes. Well you know what I mean? Because, like, it could be possible to, like, check notes, you know? Um, but like he can't do that because he's blindfolded. Which, uh, is so that's crazy to me. And we want to. I don't know. Consistency, normalization. We. And I think it's very funny because chat, like, uh, I was on Point Crow's uh, stream when he was doing like this run. As we're walking towards the. Um, for a while, and chat is always like, "No, you're too, too, you're too much to the right. You gotta go a little bit more to the left." Like as if he he would see that. <laughs> it's very funny. And a lot of the messages were like, "Hey, have you tried taking your blindfold off? Like, it would make this easier." <laughs> <laughs> a game where you rely on sound to navigate. Oh yeah. Uh, we actually only have eight. That could be cool. Up, down, left, right, and then all the uh, diagonal directions here, which is incredibly important for this run, since if we move upwards, we're always moving upwards. 
Hmm. Uh, we actually use both this controller and the pro controller. Uh, we oh, I wasn't paying attention, but he's using a second controller uh, for some really reason. Cool that we use two controllers during this run. Hmm. Uh, Gotta head out now. Sounds great. Thank, thank you for hanging out. But, well, There's a couple of games I want to try, we'll chat. Um, hopefully we can. Uh, Cause like I got I got a couple of games that I want to start. I want to start Outer Wilds. I want to play that on stream. I also want to play. Um, I also want to play um, Ori and the and the Blind Forest, which I haven't played yet either, and it's on my library. I want to play some more Monster Hunter on stream. Uh, what else do I want to do? I want to do some stuff. I want to do some stuff. So we can just complete the Great Sky Island Have you played Pyre? No, I, I don't think I've heard of it. What's it about? I love to see you play a horror game. No, uh, horror games are out of my repertoire. Those are out of my repertoire. <laughs> And you're going I would need like a crazy yeah, amount of like. Actually been rerouted a couple times, and this is probably my most practiced part. Yeah, even well. lethal you're somebody, I'm like, I never really want to do that. Mm -hmm. and, and odd physics engine. And we're not Hollow Knight a is another game I haven't played yet, and I would like that. to try someday. Remember, that consistency is mm -hmm. the key to be able did you play Omori? Yes, I did play Omori. It's like an RPG sports visual novel combo. Oh. Okay. RPG sports visual novel. Because what we need to do is hmm. we need to look to the upper right and then position link to the upper left. And we need to shield jump across this gap. Uh, unfortunately, oh my God. We fail it here. Oh no. Uh, but I'll show you what it looks like uh, sped up uh, when we actually succeed. Oh my God. Oh my God. Everything takes so long. I feel so like bad that he's doing this. Have you seen the new is, Fighter Pass uh, in Guilty just, Gear? So uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I know Tubi. Uh, no, not Tubi. I know uh, until you get to the, the Cyberpunk Girl is coming. Is <laughs> That's pretty funny. Sort of I don't know. Uh, the who's the last the character that came out? Slayer, I think? I haven't played Guilty Gear in two years now. I have no idea what's going on there. I don't even know which characters are good or bad. Hi Mari, hi guys, hello, welcome on in guys. Of where you grab that <clears throat> so, we align ourselves with so yeah, it's been two years since Guilty Gear. Uh, actually, like Isn't that crazy? Uh, like the Guilty Gear streams were doing the PNG tuber era. Uh, his location is. <laughs> this next part is one of my favorite ones of the entire run because you'll never expect us to do this during a run. Uh, like at all. And this what is, is he doing? Game knowledge coming in here too. I, I try to shield jump forward. I don't have a shield attached. I just backflip back. What? Attach my shield. And then uh, we go Tony Hawk Pro Skater and oh. we rail grind across uh, the giant gap of. That's crazy. Island. Yeah, I played Exophobia. That was very scary. I don't want to play that again. <laughs> but the game will Buying Guilty Gear Strike, playing it once, never touching it again. That's to be my fi best financial like choice of this like year. Wait, did you get. So you didn't get Guilty Gear this uh, year. You got Guilty Gear way before, right? Either. So what I'm listening for here is uh, for I think I played like maybe uh, 200 hours of Guilty Gear. Which means that Strive. I'm probably at the top of it because it's the first uh, I don't know if I want to get into like another fighting game anytime soon. Which means that I'm at Oh, so we had it on PS4. I see, I see. Uh, and that's how you know that you get The game the got very different. Uh, and then you can see the, the game is was very different. Uh, I don't know. It's I, I don't deal very well with change when it comes to like a lot of stuff. I like the same so thing over cool. and over. Uh, it's really neat. Like, I, I don't really like the patches they made to change it all. Uh, but but I understand, like, you need to change uh, things up for sure. But yeah, I don't know. <laughs> hello, hello, welcome on in. Oh god. I don't know, man. I, I, I like my things to stay the same. You influenced me to be a main main. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry for your brain cells. I love May so much. She's like one of my favorite characters of all time. I think she's awesome. Ridiculous. So Ultra Hand is a combination. She's like a modern day Amy Rose. She's the closest we have. Where you can take and manipulate objects, move them in 3D space, but then also. Maximilian, dude, the casuals matter as much as the hardcore fighting game players. Are a big reason why those games. Oh yeah, absolutely. Every fighting game wants to get wants to appeal to the casuals. I feel. Because the casuals are going to be your new players. Entirety of Hyrule. 
Uh, but you know, as we've done with the past two shrines, Giovanna is peak. I agree. Giovanna's pretty peak. Just wide open. <laughs> uh, it's really cool. Hello, it's welcome on in. I feel like I hello, hello. This. Oh, but I'm, I'm so passionate. But yeah, about there's this. like. I, I love this. So I think really Guilty Gear Strife has a lot of and, good and things, one, and it's done a lot for DFGC. Like, I feel like it was the first of this, like, movement of making fighting games more accessible, for sure. I stopped playing Strive a little bit after Bridget came out. This next one is a little bit larger, so you can't I really think. do that. So we're going to take the slab. Was it after it Bridget came out? The right side. We're yeah, I think it was it after Bridget uh, came so out. it's a little bit of an angle, and then we're going to put it into the alcove. Then, and we're going to run, and we're going to jump across. Oh my god, what, how is he solving this? Oh! <gasps> to get across the gap. Oh, he did it. It's such a really cool, unique, That's crazy. solution. Uh, that we actually just don't so yeah, there's a lot of care. So I started playing Strive when, uh, by, when, uh, Biken came out. And I stopped playing a little after Bridget came out. So I played... I don't even know for how long. Did I play for, like... I think around six months. Or I don't even think I played for six months. Which is kind of crazy. I didn't even play that much. I played maybe 200 hours in six months. And now I've played that much amount of Monster Hunter in two months. <laughs> This. Six months. Yeah, I think so. So I started. So remember when I when we did the charity stream? So the charity stream was in December, and uh, playing Guilty Gear Strive was like one of the charity stream goals. Um, so that was in December, and I, I believe I st I installed Guilty Gear Strive in January. Uh, but I I only started like actually really playing it in March. In March and April, I played a lot of Strive. I got to Celestial. And then in May, I kind of stopped. Ah! No! That was not nice. That was not nice. Anyway, I was saying, I played a lot in um, March and April. I played a lot of it. And then in May, I just kind of stopped. Like, I kind of lost the interest in it a little bit. Like, I think after... Um, it's a really, really After awesome I got to Celestial, it just... Me know. I was like, oh yeah, that was my like goal. It. That's and, it. Uh, yes, this know, is a Point Crow I video. I, I'm trying to do this YouTube thing. It's a really... It's a passion project turned job still. So yeah, it's uh, kind of like... Um, <laughs> it's a, a awesome way to go about. So I feel like, you know, I reached like my goal, which was to get to uh, Celestial, and then just, uh, yeah. Really and then the new patch like came out, they made some right, changes cool. to, like, so, the whole uh, game yeah, and all that stuff, and I was like, the, uh, nah, I don't want to learn all these new combos and routes. Like, they completely gutted all of May's combo routes, so I'd have to, like, learn them from zero. And I didn't really feel like doing all that. I gotta be honest. actually, was the fourth shrine. And all this. So we just need complete oh, that was Venom. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't. I don't get it. Um, Not sure how Biken is in Strive, which was always difficult. Uh, I, do say, uh, I think no one in Strive is really difficult. I think Strive is an easy game uh, overall. So, so yeah. Do you play any other fighting games? Not really. No. I I played Smash, which doesn't really count. <laughs> I've been like Neff plays a lot of Grand Blue. He competes in that game, so I've been kind of looking at it like a little bit. But I don't think I I don't think I wanna like put so much time and energy into a game again. So we'll just like speed that up right to where. I feel like fighting games take a lot of like your time, your mental energy as well. Yeah. Um, my, uh, I don't know. Uh, ascend, I don't know. I feel uh, like you need you need to put a lot into it. When I wanted it, so I would need. I, I feel like I would need like a good excuse, like to get into like something. Like I got into Guilty Gear because of this charity stream. Yeah. Like I feel like that's a good reason. Um. Uh. So yeah. <laughs> would you play them more if they weren't so expensive? Oh yeah, that's fair enough. Honestly, you have uh, Fight so Cade. I guess if you uh, if you like old uh, games. <laughs> You can just no, play and press buttons uh, badly. That's not game, how I enjoy fighting games. <laughs> I enjoy I enjoy the like the the theoretical part of it. I like learning the game. It's like my favorite thing. So I I I always joke about this part because I'm like, oh, it's the hardest thing to run. And it's because whenever I did this part, but yeah, you can. I think 
there's opening the temple of time it's it's very uh, fun to like just pick up a fighting game you've never played before <laughs> with a friend who has never picked the fighting game either and you guys just like mash buttons with each other it's very fun it's very very fun yeah guilty gear memes are good you walk forward and press a oh my god he's crazy i run i i run that joke every time i, I don't know why I, it's it's only funny for me nobody's ever laughed at that joke all right eric okay but you know what <laughs> Point Crow doing the joke. Yourself laugh, you know? But yeah, you like, uh. Um, why are you even telling the joke? Um, I don't know. But yeah, so basically, in this case, uh, I don't know. there's a lot of yapping going on. Rune Fighting games, the there's game. a lot that goes into use, them. I don't know if I want to go through that again. Sorry. I'm so sleepy, dude. It's game. been an hour and 20 minutes. How am I supposed to keep this um, up? So we can move an object and I think this whole, like, starting streams back. later so thing we'll has been going well. But, like, I got so sleepy. Over the course of the run. I got really I sleepy sleep. right away. Uh, which is really it cool. sucks. This puzzle is a bunch of moving platforms hmm. that we have to time correctly with some uh, creative. Oh yeah, how is Point Crow gonna do this? Because you need you need the we can't really do that you need recall and all that stuff, the right? That we duplicated earlier. Uh, we're gonna take out Ultra Hand. And what are you going to uh, sort of hover it over uh -huh. the entire puzzle? Okay. Uh, we're Can you guys hear the video, by the way? Use these uh, platforms and everything. Uh, we're going to then take the glider, put it back down, wait for that sound to make sure it's on the ground, uh, do two forwards up, and then we're going to use the recall rune that we just got. Oh! So then the glider will move us above the entire puzzle, and we can just uh, shield jump and skip it all. That's so it's smart! So it's so cool. So we don't even have to do any platforming. Hi, Neko. So I'm watching this YouTuber, Point Crow, um, beat the entirety of uh, uh, Legends of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom while blindfolded. And he's, like, explaining what he did. This little part is, like, a little, like, segment where you put your hands on the door and then the door is like, oh, you don't have actually enough parts. You need to complete the last shrine. Yeah. In fact, you don't even need to attempt it. You can just press the B button. Yeah, he already did that. He already did that on Breath of the Wild. Uh, but, but now really recently he did it with Tears of the Kingdom. I watched a couple of uh, the streams are, where he uh, was doing this. Really fast at this. One of the um, why I love this run in particular is and, uh, so many yeah. cool things involved with it that I can just explain. Yeah, it's very crazy. It's a big project for sure. And, over and, over and I guess this is the the uh, winning run. And he's explaining what he and does and some so of the setups he has so cool. to do are very smart. I can't imagine like how many hundreds of hours went into this. Do our first map menuing. We're going to save real quick just in case. But we actually have to go into the map because we just unlocked it. And you need to like be very, very the into this game. Awakening to do this. at the very beginning of the game because that's where Raru says that the fourth shrine is. But we, we know Point Crow is the Zelda guy. I know that if we go all the way down uh, and past all of the uh, little. Uh, little he's the guy who did Mario Kart IRL. Cubes, and we go back uh, up, Mario Party? You mean? I don't think it was Mario Kart. He did do Mario Party. Properly. And the other thing is. That is the same shot. Right? So we can do all of this stuff. But what if I teleport wrong? I don't know well, if he did. He also did Battleship IRL, <laughs> which is very funny. I need to hear some water, and then the cogs. I used to love playing Battleship so much as a kid. I don't know, know where you're at. but I don't know how now, to play it anymore. Really fun thing that we do in order to get to like the, genuinely, the I don't know how to play Battleship is, anymore. Uh, I don't know the uh, rules or anything really like that. Yeah, Mario Party. Yes, him. I get it like a hundred percent of the time. For sure. We just kind of uh run across here and pew, jump pew, 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 and we just keep pew, jumping pew, onto this ledge <laughs> um, it's really unscientific there's no like really method or madness to it i just kind of send it uh and then uh, you we sense use the send it to get up there I, I it's really just a unique thing that i can do i, okay. I don't know why well i don't know why it's consistent for me but not anybody else but i can just kind of jump across uh those pebbles uh on the lake and everything and then ascend and then we're good to go um so it's just a really funny i want to see how he beats ganon i i i'm so curious as to how he beats ganon here versions but that's okay how it is. so now what we're doing is just we're heading towards the the recall shrine using the uh sort of tunnels to guide us uh as it were until we hear the shrine sound cue once again this is normally where you uh you, you would get so, it. Oh, I want to replay then, this game uh, so bad. Is, uh, but I feel like, do I want to replay this game or do I want to replay Bre Breath of the, of the Wild, you know? Recall is very finicky is we're going to actually that's that's what I'm thinking. Do I want to re-experience Tears of the Kingdom or do I want to re-experience Breath of the Wild? They're very good games. Because this entire shrine 
is timing based. Why not both? And, yeah, uh, you're right. The but they're so the long. Is that when Link enters they're very the long games. Uh, there's a bunch of different rafts that fall down waterfalls and uh, go across rivers. Okay. So if we enter it and skip the cutscene immediately, then we can just go forward and get onto the first raft. Yeah, yeah. This is anything. how you do the puzzle now, the normally. Way I count this and how uh, long to have recall. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four. We do 10 bar counts and then I hop two times. Hey, you know, the little ah. you know, band skills from middle school have come in, right? We wait for the second. That's uh, crazy. Once you hear that sound cue right there. One, two, three, four, two, three, four, three, 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 four, five, five. five. That's so hard to count like that. Afterwards. What the heck? Uh, it's, it's a very weird sort of situation, but it is very timing based uh, and it's cycle based as well. So if we ever fail this, we have to restart the entire shrine. I'm sorry, I'm just like shocked. With, uh, all the other shrines, but we know that okay. uh, if we skip the main cutscene, then we can actually get on this first cycle right over here. Uh, it's I wonder if he was the first person shrine, to do this. Uh, but very, very cool. This Mari versus is, uh, Neff in Breath of the Wild and Tears of the really Kingdom speedrun. I, wait, uh, so I, which is one is longer, of actually? I don't know. <laughs> As you can see here, uh, when both of those hands on the clock uh, are the same, I don't know which one is longer. The door. So what I I'd love to play Breath of the Wild again, but I know that world. I want to blast through Tears so of the Kingdom, but I have to take it serious. Then I mm. recall Tears of the Kingdom has a lot exactly of really like on that time cool where stuff. I can stop them together, um, and then the door will uh, go back down. The reason I like specifically in my is because I have some slight controller. I, I still think in it's incredible setup. how they managed to like. <laughs> not show the underground then, also, a single well, time wow, on tears of the kingdom I, I um, poor, uh, reaction timing trailers and stuff because it was such a big surprise to me and yeah, i guess to everyone because it was not I've unlike any of the trailers or anything really like that recall. we are an hour and 10 minutes ahead of my i don't know uh, i just think that's like, know, my other <laughs> i just think that's other, very impressive uh, attempt here which is really neat it's really cool uh, so that's the just dropping by to say hello going back to work sounds great, great. thank so you for hanging out higher, richie uh, i appreciate all that the, uh, things in the great sky island that they definitely we, we rose yeah they did, of time they did. It's, leave it's, the great sky i think objectively uh, it's a better game than breath of the wild team. but like it didn't hit us hard overworld, just because of like how different and unique breath of the wild was at the time once we get to it so yeah before we go hey toko hi hello i'm glad you like my model unfortunately i lost my hand tracking today i don't know where my hands are so i can't move very much the, but i appreciate uh, it uh, cooking pot and now i appreciate it make, uh, get it get, get a little closer get a little closer I've got before. you remember those things <laughs> the tasty mushroom skewer, yeah uh, which gives us let's speed I, up get and a little that closer weird i mean i see you let me sniff you run because let me you know, sniff so you we need to go faster but the speed up will actually prevent us from dying later yeah uh we're gonna do another menu all stinky. we need to do is go up uh until we get to that first uh <laughs> little, little ping right there i still don't there we go I don't understand water though very shrine. much once yet. We're, hand, we can head back to, we're getting uh, there. We're getting there. Time. Little but, by little. <laughs> so this is like where everything starts to be cascaded, right? All the things. Oh, you're holding them. Oh, ooh, ooh. Are <laughs> Mario mushrooms, freak. Oh uh, yeah, what's uh, new? Pot. Uh, we're going to. What's new? <laughs> Um, get that's how you feel uh, about them yeah um, like tears of the kingdom well, is better but um a lot of the runes that we've got it definitely wasn't like ah! uh, no we're gonna start stop that the game i do not appreciate um, that in just a second um, um yeah like tears of the kingdom definitely game, a better game uh, like objectively but uh, as it were. breath of the wild just hit it just hit you harder because of like finish the rest how different it was from everything else when tears of the king came out we already knew breath of the wild is that i have had to memorize for this entire run, uh, all of them. Uh, Y'all, do you guys see this? I don't know, like uh, 1,200 lines of notes uh, with several, uh, maybe like three, 4,000 inputs or something uh, that I've all written down. Uh, I've memorized, this is my crowning achievement. I've memorized those in about a week, uh, maybe a little bit less. Um, but it took me a couple Yeah, because he months, can't look at his notes because to, he's blindfolded. Uh, really the down what the fuck? And the backup strats and everything that we've had before. Um, I do the same mistake that I did beforehand, which is hilarious. We'll speed up to get to the uh, spot that I succeed at. Holy it. crap! Eric Point Gross, man, is insane. But, like, in a good way, good for him, you know? The Let ending cutscene got me to know. I cried so much else. in Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, I cried in so many different, like, parts of the game. I think it's an amazing game. Uh, for sure, but it's definitely, like, Breath of the Wild. Uh, I gotta to, be honest, to really I easy for feel a little sad that a lot of the new uh, additions and, uh, was underground because underground well, we'll was personally my least favorite uh, part of the game. 
Uh, yes, this is legit. Yeah, I watched a couple of streams of him like doing this. Falling off. He's basically explaining on the video, but like we're not paying a lot of attention. But he explains like the setups that he's using. Like he does like. Uh, two steps forward, three jumps back, so that he can set up right in front of the save. thing. I know that once I get that ascent, um, uh, all the way up. So yeah, no, line, like then whatever. He's a good. I, I like Point Pro. Like I like his so vibe. Like just, sure. Uh, jump forward and go the Master Sword cards uh, made me cry. I cried in so many different uh, situations, but like I cry very easily in general. So like maybe I'm not the best example. So but I think that, the story is so much better. Like I'm so glad that we got that game, a breath, uh, like a Breath of the Wild type girl type game uh, with like a better story. Because um, any normalized spot. So Breath of the Wild story was a little bit like we go across that, uh, railing, it left a lot to be desired. We just, I felt uh, we still haven't been in. Oh, you gotta finish and it. The exact same thing that it's we a good game. To get across this, uh, <laughs> but I understand. It's, 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 it's a lot. Being that we didn't have that save it's it's so a lot for sure. In a different. All right, yeah, you put the wing the here, glider, and then you move the, the wing. Yeah, the recall, he's shown this and, uh, before. While this is going, uh, Go I want to say forward, a huge forward, shout forward. out and give a huge shout out to back, Crystal back, Saver. Back, 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 back. Uh, he is the one who uh, created this route that I'm currently running. Uh, he was the first one to beat Tears of the Kingdom blindfolded, uh, and he is. Oh, out, other people uh, have done this uh, with the routing. And, uh, execution Other people of have run, done this. Uh, for, okay, uh, I see. Four runners of I see. Blindfolded speed running. So more people uh, are insane enough to do this. Who completed it. I see. Um, I want to give a huge shout out to Livy, uh, who was the second one, uh, and uh, helped a lot with uh, routing. Uh, more people have done this. Kingdom, which is 1.0. Uh, and then I want to give another shout out to uh, Player 5. We failed this, so don't worry. We're going to speed this up in a sec. Um, to Player 5, who created a full new route. Uh, for Tears of the Kingdom blindfolded, which uh, just shaved off a ton of time. I think it's uh, so funny to see this route, like at five times is, speed. Uh, also, it's just incredibly <laughs> interesting, and I cannot. Stop I'm I'm so it. shocked that more people have been so doing this. So all we this. gotta do now, after uh, getting these uh, this second puzzle uh, once again, is in, in under an hour or two uh, is insane. The little prayer shrine. Under uh, an hour? How do you beat this in under an hour? To get our last, like you have to. Uh, piece of hearts. So we have three hearts right now. I don't know. You have to like after completing all four shrines. Uh, we have four in under an hour. Wait, wait is is this how long is the speed run right so now? Actually, um, uh, Tears the of, of the uh, Kingdom. We're going to be getting a couple speed of, uh, other things run uh, before we record. go to Ganon. And yes, we are going to do all of those things. I want to see any of, percent. Uh, beating Ganon. Uh, Thirty-nine <laughs> minutes. Becoming invincible. Uh, doing so all the 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 the, the um, world uh, record. The for Breath of the Wild get, uh, speed running, we have to get a is topaz, 39 and get minutes, a and then we have to get well, around 40 step. minutes. And those are all incredibly important to be able If to you beat the game in game. one hour, and we're going to be it, you're in the top to 100. After we okay, you're in the top 100 no dungeons, of nothing. speedrunners of Tears of the Kingdom. So we're gonna over here, and this person uh, beat beat it blindfolded in under an hour. Actually, have to hold it this time. If you did, I read that right? But it'll take away our hearts and all that. And this has to be one of the uh, Tears this of is the literally King? the fastest run that I have Gdom ever done uh, for Tears of the Kingdom blindfolded Great Sky Island. I ran this before in uh, Wait, Ludwig's fast Tears speed running charity Kingdom event. Speed run and, blind. Uh, it was really neat uh, because uh, I, that was my first time ever doing a live marathon speed run uh, in front of like a live audience and everything. Uh, oh, and apparently there is uh, no like was, uh, there's no one of the people commentating and helping out with. All okay, the, apparently uh, this is not like a proper. Like, hopefully I can. Uh, do a little bit more of an explanation of the Great Sky Island for those of you guys. Okay, yeah, no, this is and not like a proper like. The there's no leader the for this. <laughs> because it's not just Great Sky Island. We're doing blindfolded in 35 uh, minutes. I don't believe you. Is, uh, relatively easy. It is probably the what? second easiest segment of the entire run. Oh, so just the Great forward, Sky Island. Okay, to, okay, okay. Uh, fall twice. Holy crap! Again, and then you press ascend until you get the mm. uh, little. Uh, audio That's insane. Right Player five is my yo Smith. Hi, how are you doing? The second segment of here. We three D now. Yeah, I have a three D uh, model. The, the final time Player five is my go watch employees the best. The you mean like blindfolded or like, like in general? Insane. And it's really funny that I almost fell off there. This is one of the first times I'm actually. How do people beat this, beat this game blindfolded in under uh, an I hour? My, <laughs> I That's like a top ten so, oh, speed run on, the oh, on its really own without a blindfold. This is one of the first times, you know. So it's really funny to see what I did. Blindfolded as cited, now commentating it. So that's a one hour and twenty-two minutes. Both blindfolded, uh, of, but he's the best. Of Tears of the Kingdom, Kingdom Tears Great of the Sky Kingdom. Island. Blindfolded. Wow, that's crazy. Uh, and then we're going to immediately these games are like food that we cooked up. These games are uh, so and massive. Food is going to save us. 
uh, because I can't see the game. I'm blindfolded. I think that's obvious by now. <laughs> uh, but it'll give us a little bit of a speed boost right there. So you can see that we okay. ran off of oh, the Sky Island. Really? Uh, towards here. And we can't really move at all once we're falling. But specifically, that small amount of added movement forward uh -huh. will ensure that when we land, we're going to land in a body of water. What? If we just ran normally or walked off, we would fall on land. And can the 3D would, like, do many faces? Yeah, it can. Let me mind, show you. Glider, like, um, the end of Breath of the Wild, because you need to do a little side quest to get I can glider. do and then Engie. Also, uh, we have no uh, ability to know where the body of water I can is. Do... So What's this? getting that uh, and using that hasty food from the rush rooms that we got earlier is just so important for thingy. us to even just make it to the overworld Which in one? general. Um, also, I can blush. The hasty food will allow us to run a little I, faster because we have speed up currently. Yeah, now, that's crazy. Whoa. Uh, one of the reasons that. why I can actually even just memorize this insane. <laughs> this uh, is like a, I guess a smug one, but uh, it looks a little is, bit like uh, a rat. Uh, you'll see me running a little bit here. I don't know. Uh, why is the mouth uh, not closing? Just, just, I don't think this uh, is very well. Run. This is a speed run, I think so I, I should have like. Uh, uh, but let me explain a little bit of how my brain does memorize. This. Eyebrows so up. My brain's kind of built a little uh, bit. Like, eyebrows weird. down. Uh, it's like a rare mm. neurological sort of condition called. I guess I'm very serious now. Uh, I kind of discovered that I gun? had this um, a little bit ago, and it was definitely confirmed um, by. Um, uh, um, uh, oh, this is the Doki Bird face. Two years ago, where I did. Great plateau blindfolded, and I tried to explain this to you guys as well. Like quite literally the Doki Bird face. I got it checked up by doctors, like, and they're like, this is exactly what you have. So I have synesthesia. <laughs> it's a... Um, That's pretty funny. Synesthesia. That's it's pretty color funny. color synesthesia. And, and this is... Also, yeah, the blush. Uh, I have uh, spatial I like uh, synesthesia. Which is really cool, because mm. uh, the way it works is... Uh, synesthesia yeah. is where your neurological... But I don't have my expressions uh, tied to my uh, stream deck. Sort of pathways are so kind why of like I can't really change expressions very easily. Ones. So, for example, if I <sighs> hear... Or, sorry, if I see... Or think yeah, of, I just have a uh, little, like but a I think the, the funniest part is that I can word, dance. Or a concept or something like that. <laughs> I think that's the coolest part of this that, model. Of color. So that's color that I can dance. Um, so it's very, like, interesting because in this way, <clears> while we're sort of, uh, you know, doing the route oh, and everything, in this way, uh, you know, the route kind of is a feeling. So oh yeah. Be like, okay, I need to run what do you do now? So now you got to go underground, X, right? If I recall uh, correctly. Shield bash, 2x shield bash. And the only reason why I know how that is is because it gives me a certain feeling and it's like a splash of color in my mind of how it works. I yeah, he's exactly done this so many I'm times he already has like the to, experience like, to know, you, to so feel. One, two, right? Three, you'll yeah, it's the hey hey face, but it's not very well like um, um, it's very set up. I need to set it up a little better with like my... Uh, it's like, you know... Uh, with the different settings To somebody with aphantasia uh, that you can actually picture an apple in your mind. Uh, or someone who doesn't have aphantasia, that um, people who have aphantasia can't even think of uh, what an apple looks like. They don't have any mental imagery mm. um, uh, in their mind. So we're actually going to fail this. Uh, I'll explain exactly what we're doing there in a second. Okay. Uh, but we're Did you guys know Roboross has aphantasia? Uh, there's some style enemies there. So he I'll cannot visualize in stuff in well, his mind. Uh, after I finish with the synesthesia. Which um, is pretty so interesting. I want to make it very because he's an artist. Well that like this is kind of me opening up to you guys. You know, <laughs> um, I don't really talk about this too much uh, or anything because I get very nervous about it. But I want to make it also very clear that this isn't something where it's like, oh, in middle school I associated math with red because I had a red binder. Uh, that's not it at all, and that actually kind of like minimizes it like a ton. Huh. Uh, it's more like it's just like how you think. It's 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 a feeling. Oh, it's, it's okay. Like so he thinks in is. colors and. Um, Okay. Uh, it's just, it just it makes me nervous because it's like that's that's not what it is. It sounds like what that that's what it is, but it's not. It's like the association of it. It's a feeling that you get. Huh. I think the best way I can do it. So it's like how does he know like, what to draw? I feel I like see the color. He, like the number two, a lot of it. So like he's like red. some like, things no, 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 no. he probably has like has drawn so many times that they've already committed to muscle that, memory. That's what it is. For example, like his character, <laughs> Anyways, like his little guy too, persona, like, and or Gui, for example, I'm sure he's drawn them like so many times that he's committed them to memory uh, or like you know, to well, um, me muscle that. memory. Well, you know. oh, but God. other than that, um, you use references. Really that's, that's how you do it. Um, but, uh, with synthesis, I'm guessing that's it. One second. Okay, so what we're about to do here is another way that we can manipulate the camera Ooh. behind Link. Oh, sorry. Recall oh, God, I'm right. so sleepy uh, and then lately. We scope in to make sure that Link, Nef has uh, left for the gym, like, a long time ago. That's called, like, um, 
Though it doesn't really have a name or anything. <laughs> but we use we recall in certain areas, so then we can actually make slight adjustments. Uh, but this color thing is interesting. Eight degrees of movement that Link has uh, with the 8-bit do uh, to ensure that uh, we actually can look, you know, What's and he head towards do? the direction of the shrine. Here, we kind of mess it up a little bit, but uh, that's kind of what uh, we use recall for uh, occasionally. It's another really cool strat that we use uh, for okay. angles. But yeah, so greatest fear. Let's talk about it's that. It's so like uh, hard to understand like where you are. It's synesthesia. crazy. Um, and it's also crazy how good like the, how, uh, I guess the sound looks, design like, of this game is. What yours is kind of like, because uh, with my color graphene synesthesia, I'm very protective of it. Um, and I don't want to hear what anybody else's is because I'm so afraid that that'll affect how I think. Because I'm afraid that mine will start mending, with, like melding with others. What? Um, and I really like how I think. And it's just, it's maybe an irrational sort of fear. But okay. That's, oh, it is. <laughs> that's kind of a crazy, that, that's so <laughs> interesting. Conceptual. I'm, I'm learning a lot about uh, yeah, Point Crow so as that. a person. And then I also have uh, like a uh, spatial sequence uh, sort of synesthesia where, um, you know, uh, some months of the year, some weeks, uh, years, uh, they're not just like concepts in my mind. I mean, it still blends with color graphene synesthesia, but they're actually like places in 3D space. Huh? So like, uh, uh, you can see it actually in my Breath of the Wild blindfolded video where we beat the. Great oh Bucko. yes! I sort of try to explain, my queen. Uh, that there. Yo, Peachy, you. hello! Thank you so much for the raid. Hold up, hold up, hold up! Wait, 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 wait! Where was it? Where was it? Yeah! Thank you for the raid. Welcome, raiders! Wave of angels! Hello! Welcome on in, guys! How was the stream? I hope it was good. Welcome, welcome on in, everyone. My name is Mari. I'm an artist and VTuber from Portugal. And today we're just chilling. I'm just uh, watching this Point Crow video uh, while chatting a little bit. And we're just vibing pretty much. It's a good time. <laughs> How was your stream? What were you guys doing? Super Mario Sunshine. I still haven't played that game. I need to play it. I need to play it so bad. <laughs> I think it's the only 3D Mario game I haven't played. It was fun. Uh, I hope you've been doing good. Yeah, I have. Yeah, the Komi was fun. Thank you. Thank you. We're playing Mario. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoyed it. I still need to play it. So we're watching Point Crow play I'll Tears of the, the Kingdom images, blindfolded. Like, on screen right now. Um, wait, actually, I'll put it after this boar. We stop here after we hear the boar. And he's explaining like what he does. And the boar heads past. You, I kid you not, you have to stop there for the boar. And if you don't, he'll hit you and you have to reload. It, it, oh, I have failed this segment too many times to that guy. Anyways, here's the uh, uh, sort of synesthesia. And now he's explaining things, like the way he uh, thinks. how I tell time which is crazy. in my head. Uh, I've been so told Mario cool. Sunshine is like Dark Souls. But Wait, is like hard? Because I got a feeling. Or like something a else. Feeling associated with it. <laughs> so it's very easy for me to memorize large numbers and things like that. All right, so we're at the shrine next, um, and we're actually going to get the shrine, but we're not going to do the shrine. The reason being, can someone is use it? it no, we, we cannot use it. Looking directly at the shrine. That's another. Why would you do something like that to me? So then we can mm? uh, sort of get that area. I don't think that's very nice. Uh, get a, and we'll see it later for a yeah. map manipulation. I'll show you that later. Um, but then we can actually save in a spot that we know where we are. But I'm so sleepy. Uh, and this we can is go and head towards our first thing. Remember. Once we're in the overworld, we have to get three things. The topaz, the fairy, and the steering stick. The first thing we're going to grab is the Oh, topaz. yeah, you're going to have you're gonna need fairies because you need, like, uh, infinite damage. fairies in order to never die. You'll right? see what I mean by that um, much later in the run. Uh, we're going to get invincible. We're going to be a walking nuke. Uh, we're going to be able to clip through the ground. This is all the things that will allow us to do it. And the funny thing is here is uh, these style enemies keep appearing. You might be like, wow, how do you navigate these style enemies? And the answer is... I've never dealt with them before uh, at all, whatsoever, it, which is really, really funny. Um, huh. I've never dealt with uh, style This enemies. sucks because, like, it's a night and the uh, style is during, appears. During this. I, Sorry, I, I'm, I'm, I've never... I'm, I'm very invested in okay. this run now. I've never been this fast. <laughs> so because I've completed the Great Sky Island in record time for me, in an hour and I think one minutes. hour and 30 Normally is like, a bit slower, I don't know if I can do the Sky Island in an hour and 30. Right now, rather than nighttime. Like just playing normal. Normally you wouldn't know. have actually appeared yet. Um, I haven't played it in terms of the... I always read it as TikTok. Right <laughs> uh, so <I'm laughs> I haven't played TikTok yet. I only did the tutorial. I mean, that's fair. It's a very overwhelming game for sure. But it's a very good game. I learned very cool during this run of speedrunning. 
Uh, it's a really, uh, really cool blindfolded. game. Is that, Play if Peachy Raid? That's okay. That's okay. Welcome on in. the way through the run, and then you Thank you, Nightbot. Oh, no. Okay. Thank you, Cox. <laughs> TikTok is the largest of the game. So won't true. Won't appear again if you it's reload the that save. So you'll see right here uh, that we, uh, you know, uh, we make it uh, to the hops and everything. And as we go forward, the style enemies just, like, don't reappear. <gasps> They're just not there anymore. Oh, my God. Which is a really cool uh, sort of uh, thing that I just discovered. Oh, we make it's it to the crazy squall. to me. We like, these stop, runs are so do, long. Uh, another thing with Ultra Hand, where we get this particular chest like, out of the ground. We how do I explain this? Grabbing. Speed running to uh, me is lands, really impressive. We go forward, we press a, Especially at, like, uh, long game speed runs, topaz. where, like, the speed run is a long time. Like, that's the first of if the you're doing, like, I don't know, like a 10-minute uh, speed run or a 20-minute uh, speed run, that's, like, fine. You know, like, I see myself learning, like, a 10-minute or 20-minute speed run. High because, like, if you like start over, that's kind of okay. You only lost, like, 10 minutes, right? No, 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 no. Um, the way we get the fairy is ridiculous. And it's one of the hardest segments. But, like, these speedruns uh, so where you take, some, like, several uh, hours uh, to complete it. Like, if you have sky, to reset, that, that must be heartbreaking. To the right and then down you know? Again. And then uh, that indicates like, that holy we're crap. going to be at the Fuse Shrine. There's going to be, like, so many mistakes you can make throughout the whole run. It's not too much. There's no real... Uh, way you know to what I mean? Other than that. Like, there's gonna so, be so many places uh, yeah. where you can make mistakes. Like, it's what really if we cool make a mistake like uh, on the 49 after, minute after, mark? Uh, it's like halfway through. To a it's like, man, I gotta like reset. That, you're at that if sucks. You've enough, uh, based on the fact that at Fuse, you'll hear that there's slight, uh, slight water to the side and a nice little breeze. Um, we're about to come up uh, against one of the hardest segments of the entire run, which is a fall damage cancel. Uh, in Tears of the Kingdom. They're okay, very easy in Breath of the Wild, but they're very difficult in Tears. Like, what uh, so is left to do? I guess Ganon. Uh, to look slightly um, uh, to the left here, and then scope in to change Link's uh, angle so it looks directly Oh my god, oh, that's the camera. turn around. And then we're going to fall off the island <laughs> uh, and try to do a fall damage cancel. And the way we do a fall damage cancel is just, it's so much harder than Breath of the Wild. It, it's, it's really, really difficult. Oh my god. The way that I determine where to stop diving is the background music. And now I'll, I'll boost that. We're waiting for a blah. Right there. Blah, uh, yeah. And so now I would normally, yeah, yeah, I failed the first time. Don't worry. It's one of the hardest tricks in the run. Okay, don't, don't, don't That's worry. That's so too crazy too that he's doing this blindfold. <laughs> but we wait for the Gonna blah. go and learn what, of course, of course. Thank you for sending your community and then, over. And then we, I'm not uh, doing much today. To do it's a very chill cancel. stream. Um, but yeah, I hope I, 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 I'll take care of them. <laughs> uh, and the trick is incredibly difficult. It's not frame perfect, but it's, it's hard. Uh, we, uh, here we go. I'll just show you, I'll just show you how we do it here. So we press B and then ZR to go into bullet time. Uh -huh. And then we wait for the shrine sound cue to indicate that we are close enough to the ground where we can actually begin the trick. Uh -huh. In that case, then we hold the L button. And before the menu pops up, we want to press Y. So then we start doing a jump attack. Uh, I've, I never learned so how to do right any here. of this. And then we uh, try to Hi, hello. change well, come on our in. shield, put it off, and then press R, then B really fast. We're chilling today. And then that will cancel our full damage. That's so And we crazy. make it to the very end. There's so many tricks. That's an incredibly difficult trick uh, to do. And a fun fact about that is I actually don't really know how to do it sighted. Uh, I... Uh, fail it a lot of the time when I'm sighted, but I get it a lot when I'm blindfolded just because I've practiced it blindfolded enough. Uh, the other thing too is, uh, you know, we want to head to the left and go forward until we hit a path. Now, uh, the funny thing about this is that 90% of the time you'll hit a tree. Uh, it could be any one of those trees in the forest because you have a variable distance uh, and a sort of landing area that you'll have. Based and it's on crazy. Where you start can, your, like you hit the uh, tree, but time, and it's not like uh, you can just you go around the tree. Die. Because you have no so, idea where you uh, the are. Way that you sort of Why do you need like reference? Uh, falling and in, getting into a tree is that you just move slightly to the right or to the left. Uh, in this case, we choose to move slightly to the right, and then we just walk forward, and that's how you kind of get out of that obstacle. So just knowing something like that isn't something that you can write down in your notes for the route, but it's something you can do with experience. Uh -huh. And this part of the run is crazy. This okay, is this I is what I want to know. Uh, I want to know, the like, the, the, the underground that we're stuff. Be using I want to see what he a does. second controller for this. And the second controller is our pro controller. So we've been using the 8-bit do light the entire time because of the uh, dual D-pads. We're using a pro controller 
in this case. And the reason why we're using a pro controller is because the pro controller has amiibo support. I know. So we're using the young Link uh, amiibo okay. uh, to summon Epona. <laughs> okay. Yo, here, bear with me. Bear with me. It makes a lot of sense. So we reconnect the 8-bit U controller because that's all we need the pro controller for. We're going to use it later for something else. We're going to get Epona. We're going to mount Epona and then uh -huh. use the scope again to move Epona forward. And something you might not know about Tears of the Kingdom or Breath of the Wild is that if you get a horse and then you move along a pathway, oh the yeah, horse it goes automatically. automatically path yeah, the, down it's the same as Breath of pathway. the Wild. Uh, so I actually am not, I'm only pressing A button here just to make the horse go. You can even see I'm, I'm lifting up my hand I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm only this, pressing this a is button like, yeah, this was so the same in Breath of the Wild. Go along um, and travel across yeah. Hyrule. And that will happen for any game with any horse. The reason why we use Epona with the Amiibo is to ensure that I don't have to catch a horse because that's a little bit more variable. And the Amiibo just has one available already with max uh, friendship, pretty much, and high speed. This thing, I believe the horse has uh, uh, five speed uh, stats so uh, to it. Is he going to get fairies now? We're actually, this so. is not the last part where we use uh, two controllers, where we have to use the pro controller. We're about to come up to the next part because this fairy split is crazy. <laughs> um, there's so many uh, cooler strats uh, that are coming up uh, as well. Uh, I bet you didn't even think we got a horse in this, uh, but look at us now. <laughs> we, we do have one. Um, now, you might be asking, how do you know when to stop on the horse, right? Because it automatically passes, it automatically keeps going. And I keep uh, like hitting the spurs every now and then, um, about four, three or four times until I hear Sorry, the recharge. I'm, I'm very uh, right enthralled here. by this. And then I'll use them again uh, just to speed up. Um, but the way that I know that when to stop is when we hear an audio cue that we have entered Outskirts Stable, because this is where we're going to get the fairy. Uh -huh. So here's Outskirts oh, Stable, yeah, that makes and then sense. we hear one, two, three, four, five, six trots. And then that's where we know that we are generally lined up uh, with the actual stable itself. Because we want to how many to the hours does next. this take? Now, I know like, this how many like, hours of like fairy, studying, right? like, where, where do you get the fairy practicing, the writing fairy shit down, the stable. coming so up with setups. The well, uh, after talking so, to uh, uh, a port the ice cube on my electric strip Recently, and had to, to oh my goodness, Shlama, are you okay? I kind of make some mistakes of my position. That's crazy. Wait, wait, wait. I got, I got, I got an expression so for that. To, or is it? Uh, sort of save this. But the uh, reason we talked to the stable wait. guy, and we'll speed this uh, part up a little bit too. That's crazy. Is because we want to board the horse. <laughs> we want to board a is, pony. Is your stuff good? Pona, like, did you? Board a pony again, I, I hope everything is good. And the reason for that is so a pony always appears in the same spot next to the stable because mm -hmm. if you take out a horse the horse will be in that same location every single time and once again with normalization strategies uh to know where things are we'll exactly hit the floor. The okay that's that's not too bad is that's just at that's least just important at least we'll using Epona, like, it didn't um, not everything. only for travel but then to just know, to, smells uh, like I, I, I can think of worse things it could smell like uh, there's a lot of dialogue here so we'll speed it up and everything uh but you know, that's why we have Epona, uh, and that's why we're actually talking to the stable guy in particular. Nice. So as you can see here, uh, once we turn around uh, with a little bit of a recall jump, you take out recall. Uh, you uh, uh -huh. you take out recall. You hold the the right button and press X. So you do a little recall jump right there. We don't use that too much um, until the uh, final fight. The recall we'll talk jump about that bike. later. I've uh, never but you can heard see Epona's to the right there. So if we move to the to the right, press A uh, to mount Epona. Epona will always be in that exact spot. Okay. We know our exact location in Hyrule at all times right now. And we are free to save. So then if we ever need to reload our save, keep in mind our last save was all the way back uh, before we got Epona, uh, then we can do it now. Uh, so now that we have that all situated and we know exactly where we are, um, we can go get our, our second of three items in the overworld to make sure that we can have the ability to be Ganon, and uh -huh. that's the fairy. So the fairy is located in the well underneath the uh, stable. All we need to do I assume is he's gonna like multiply the, the fairies left, a bunch, uh, right? All the way to the left then he's unkillable. Possible, and we'll end up into the well. And, and I, 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 I think he's probably not. gonna be dying This a is lot. one of the most stressful parts of the run. Oy. Okay. The reason being, not the most stressful, that's coming up. But this is one of the most stressful parts of the run because there are so many things that can go wrong here and it just run ruining. Uh, if you scare away the fairies, uh, it's over. Uh, it's just I'm so bad over. at catching fairies uh, when had, I'm seeing. Uh, a couple runs where I've uh, accidentally picked up a frog instead of a fairy. <laughs> I've had a couple runs where I dropped my topaz accidentally 
there's so many things that can go wrong specifically with menuing and inventory that this has me on edge uh it's it's really it's really really anxiety inducing uh, i'm very very stressed hi out. hello We're here uh is hello, uh, we're watching where some, we're going uh, to some zelda now, some point uh, use our uh, the second instance um we're saving here manually save uh, here's the second instance where we use a pro controller uh because the pro controller has something that the ape do doesn't you can see right here we crouch so the pro controller has um uh, r2 sorry the pro controller has l3 and r3 mm. uh, which are uh the buttons that you get from uh pressing down on the joystick uh with your yeah we know uh, your controller yeah uh, the ape do because it has two d-pads doesn't actually have that uh you know thing uh you can see right there yeah right there the the the, the frog <laughs> if you press a too fast you will get the frog <laughs> Uh, we hear a uh, fairy to the right. Imagine so you think you got like there. a fairy. We'll fairy and you get a fucking frog. Uh, but, and like uh, you multiply a bunch of like frogs and then you and die and you're like, where's my like, like where's my revive? And you got a fucking frog. That's so uh, funny. Now this is like it's still nerve wracking because I got the fairy, right? But I don't know for sure if it's the fairy. Yeah, like because be after you get the fairy, really, like you go to weird. the you go but to the final mind, boss, right? And then in the middle of the final be boss, be you get so frog. Thumbs up! Hello! Olá pessoal, bem-vindos! Bem-vindos toda a gente que veio da rede do Gamzone. Sejam bem-vindos! Alô, alô, hi! Olá, como é que foi o stream? Foi boa que fizeram o Gamlock? Está correndo tudo bem? Olá, pessoal! Hello! I'm doing good! I'm 3D today! Ah! No! Parem com isso! Stop that! Yeah, I'm 3D! Eu não sei se eu estou com o meu modelo 3D e estamos a ver vídeos do... Estamos a ver um vídeo do Point Pro. We're watching a Point Pro video where he's playing Zelda Tears of the Kingdom while blindfolded, so he can't see anything. He's bad at Nuzlocke. My Nuzlocke is still alive somehow. Cool. I drop my I'm sure he's doing great. The frog run uh mm. runs at the very end about to be Ganon. Hello. I'm doing I good. I Thank you. I'm so doing I'm trying good. To make sure. uh, and one Just the uh, sure watching point is crow I um so do uh, uh, Tears of the Kingdom uh, while well blindfolded. It's very, very, very cool. Game, uh, next to Ascend, we're doing and this is very funny uh, so because he doesn't the, know if he's uh, actually multiplying fairies like fairy. or if he's multiplying yeah. something <laughs> else. Gamzone has a lot of casualties due to unlucky. I've been watching the the Instagram reels. Topaz. I've been watching the Instagram reels. Hey, yeah, you know, there's two things I want in this it's, game. It's really funny. Uh, the game doesn't allow you to eat topaz. Eu ainda tô chocada que ele tá jogando isso bem. Sim? Nintendo. Eu, eu acho que ele já passou tantas horas a fazer isto. Tantas, tantas horas que ele já sabe o jogo de cor. Uh, we're going to use our ascend rune. Uh, so we get to a very particular spot. <laughs> Point uh, Crow, you mean the American comes out? So then we can actually get ascend. Um, uh, so then there we can was like this the one well part of the video. Yeah, like things I had to memorize. Like there's like this uh, whole so list are, of uh, stuff you have to memorize, and he yet, said it was 1,200 like lines. To, uh, split for fairies. Ou seja, ele teve que memorizar 1,200 tipo 1.200 comandos, não é coisas para fazer tipo dá três passos para a direita, salta para trás duas vezes, conta seis segundos e depois faz não sei quê. It's insane. There's so much like there's so much that you gotta like do, right? Eu recentemente subscrevi-me ao teu canal, adoro a tua arte, faz arte de Genshin que gira. Obrigada, obrigada, fico contente. Eu sou patrocinada por Genshin, por isso, tipo, os desenhos que eu faço para Genshin são patrocinados. Mas fico contente. It's annoying, yeah, it's a big, like, commitment, right? Pretty cool, pretty cool. You came back from a trip? Ooh, where'd you go? Where'd you go somewhere cool? that where I'm at <clears throat> in the game isn't where I should be. And rightfully so, because Epona is not in front of me. So what I do here is I strategically reload because I want to make sure that I am where I am. And if you have low confidence in a blindfold speed run of where you are, like where you are at the, at the time, uh, then you might be failing. Uh, so what I do here is I reload and we do your favorite the entire character? fairy I segment again, trying to make sure I have that I have all these fairies. Uh, we'll speed that up because Genshin it takes a character. little bit here. Uh, but that's also just incredibly I don't really think I have one. I think uh, Nilu is very pretty. Based. 
And you'll see what uh, I mean. But I don't know much second. about like their uh, personalities or anything the like that. Spot. I think Nilu is uh, really, really pretty. Uh, Epona is essentially right um, in front of us. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. I, I would say probably Nilu. Wait, why is he doing this again? I was not paying attention. Oopsies. <clears throat> yeah, I've seen the dance scene. It's very pretty. Uh, so we're going to head to the Join the anti polywag club. Right there. We would so love like to have you. Uh, We'd love to I, have uh, you with us. Opponent, I can hear the What's up with Poliwag? And I know exactly where I am once again in the game. Did he kill someone? That I have fairies and I have topazes. So you got a skin. Oh. To go. oh yeah, Genshin has skins. I forget about that sometimes. Okay, so now we have the topaz, we have the fairy. We have to head to the third thing, which is the Oh, I skipped the gym today. Neff went alone. Because I had to I had to go with my mom to the doctor. Nothing serious though. I just had to go with her to the doctor. Then we can actually scan in and then do some weird And then I had to stream so Yeah, yeah, Genshin has skin. So our goal right now. Finally found your channel your stream out what you on YouTube. Well, thank you. Thank you. Oh, don't be jealous. Because this sort of area I'm sure anyone who draws like for long enough can get better than me. towards the Garuda if you have to choose between Mario and Poliwag, which would you nearest choose? Steering stick is. Uh, also one of the choose to do what? Like, to have as a pet that. and so at home? Probably Poliwag. That's a very... You, you gotta ask me something more specific. Now, I say guarantee, and then somehow we still mess it up. So if you don't actually get onto the path, or, or like, enough onto the path, your horse won't actually sort of stick to it. Like, magnetized to it. <laughs> I understand. And, uh, so then it's, you get something it's, like it's this, complicated. where you try to make your horse uh, like sort of like fall off the cliff. Uh, but no worries. Um, it takes a little <laughs> bit of some effort. Um, and uh, my favorite skins are Ayata and Gun. Eventually, you know, reload and, and, nice. and uh, nice. uh, try again. In which I'm gonna case, get a new skin uh, we as well. I'm getting a new skin. Skin is uh, in October. Right, <laughs> I'm very happy. So excited for my skin. Towards the actual pathway. In which case, it does auto save. And make sure that we're actually Very nice. on the I right actually part tried to play path. Genshin uh, a while ago, like three years ago. But like, it's such a huge game, and I, I don't know. It, I guess it again, really like, just wasn't uh, for on the me. way to That's the fine. pathway to the outskirts stable. Uh, the horse sticks to the path, and we can continue going on. Now, there's actually one of the other reasons why we go here is because uh, we get access to a small little. Um, I'm staying free to play until the end of my days. Stable. Yeah, no, that's fair. I understand over. that. that. I understand not wanting to spend money on the game. For map navigation in the future. I, I don't really like spending stick, uh, money on free to play games sort of, either. Um, a new discovery of Especially the mini stable interested. to navigate us back yeah. to yeah. Uh, I, you, the area. What I didn't like about it was the fact that you needed like a certain rank to like progress the story as the, a little bit and i just However, like i just really wanted to do more of the story of the but they uh, forced me to do like side quests of the entire exploring that i really didn't want to do oh wow that's really cool mm. that you got a horse and you're doing all this stuff too oh my god i cannot so, yeah. believe that you just did that blind i'm free to play uh, on the <laughs> I, I, I don't think so I, I have nothing uh, against and, people like, who are not free for the entirety of this i i did i there was one game that i spent money on it was animal crossing pocket camp i would buy like the three euro every month lady will so yeah every month i would uh Stop I would take say, three hey, euros and put on that game. Here. Um, <laughs> but then puts our horse in a certain spot, in which case we can so jump that game off I did, and save. I did uh, she'll always put our horse in this exact same spot. And I put so just like a regular cutscene. Uh, Hi, Mari. Hello. Nice Welcome on movement. in. So then, if we ever fail this next segment, we can go and reload this spot where we know exactly where we are. And so, uh, if you guys remember during your uh, casual playthrough, um, this is kind of a nightmare to uh, <laughs> uh, to navigate. Uh, but for some reason, uh, if you are blindfolded and you have a correct route, it's actually relatively easy. Yeah, I remember uh, this part was very <laughs> awful. This has been to rerouted do, like a couple times yeah. because of uh, rough terrain. If I primo gems, well, you don't really need to uh, play the game. Little things. For example, uh, you'll see in a second we have to get up a couple stories uh, in a building to, buy, well, to access wait, the steering stick. And we used to do a, the, a cool. Wait, little what do you mean? Wait, if you buy primos, you don't have to play the game. Uh, oh, do, the, do you just like explore to get uh, primo recall, gems? Is like uh, to do it. Is like, but now, like the point uh, of it? Do something a little bit differently. That's really cool. Uh, How do you develop uh, your style? I just draw a lot. I like drawing. Sort of maneuvering 
Uh, I just really enjoyed drawing a lot, and uh, I drew for uh, a very long which time. Was actually such a huge and time eventually, and I started drawing bit, more of the um, things I liked, I, and uh, a that was, bit that, to, that's to basically how. So you can see here, there wasn't to get really much like, right here. anything scientific. We don't actually scientific. jump onto it. We don't really grab onto it. Of it, uh, I just much. drew, and uh, I became and then, uh, from better. From here, you know, with time and studying and all that stuff. Uh, and then I of, got of to a level area. where I could see, kind of like, like choose my there. own art style, you know, and, and the kind of vibe right, I wanted for uh, my art. Is, uh, should be the steering stick. So I think it's very uh, important to there. like and the practice like your technical the, skills the and all that need, stuff before uh, with our you think about again. art styles um, in which my is opinion. Which is a fairy, uh, which um, is a topaz. We actually need those two bows as well. Yeah, that's that's all I think. Like the pants. You should focus uh, on like improving your is exactly like, what we need your technical skills, like uh, your uh, anatomy, all that less. stuff. So now that we have the stereotype, um, we finally uh, have everything like you we should need. copy from others uh, what we'll do right study here, anatomy uh, right before we you go should uh, to learn how to like get comfortable sure, drawing things uh, from memory have and then the more you draw the more naturally like you will uh, realize that you actually have had right an art it's style all along because that's it like the art style is just the way that you draw things pretty much so, uh, you know, the things that you like doing, the things that you don't like doing, the things that are easier for you uh, I mean than others. To, uh, duplicate, um, uh, so many fairies, those things, all of that, those things, uh, like, they, it's they, they, they they become very style. visible like, be on your art like style. Uh, like, for example, I'm someone who really dislikes uh, as well. um, um, adding a lot of details to uh, things, so my style is simple, and my style thrives on its simplicity. you can see here, we're just sure that I have five fairies. I really like choosing colors and, like, having, like, uh, uh, pretty I colors I together. I, I, thought I, um, there. I really like that. Much. So um, um, sometimes it works like that. Um, but that's why my I'm style like, okay, thrives in the use of have. colors. Okay, so that kind of stuff. It doesn't thrive much on the shading because the shading is not right. something that I love doing. Uh, and then, so that's kind of uh, that's kind of how you do it, right? Like you just you think about the stuff you like to do, the stuff that you don't like to do, and your style, your art style is supposed to serve you and your needs. Uh, I this feel. is a really cool strategy that we use. I've heard they're going to increase the minimum requires for the game. Right? Like so the part that we want to go to Ganon, it's the minimum requires, like, you mean, like, do computer puzzle, requirements? Uh, back when we were getting the Topaz. Mm. So, uh, in order for us to uh, go there, we need to zoom in on our map. Oh, and then when I was mentioning earlier, uh, we go I'll be honest, I was not disliking Genshin, but I wasn't really enjoying, like, the exploring aspect much. I just wanted to do more of the story, and they didn't let me, which made me sad. Oh, the specs, I see. I've been enlightened. <laughs> yeah, just don't don't take it too seriously, you know? Just have fun. And that's mostly, like, that's mostly the, the, the like, the vibe. <laughs> now we go past this enjoy your, enjoy your time, and you'll, like... Afterwards. You'll see, you'll see improvement. Uh, how we actually like, navigate you know, uh, some of the map. It gets very as long as you like have fun um, with it. But we use what we know. I love exploring with my friends. Yeah, I'm sure it's fun with friends. For sure. It all comes together. So if you're like, why did we get that one shrine? It's I can't imagine. Do, um, why did we get that one shrine? I've been vibing so much with Monster like, Hunter okay, World. One so is crazy. a really good audio indication of how far we. And I always play with friends as well. Way more fun. We can also use that same shrine as a guideline for navigating the map after we get the so is that so you complete side quests that explain that we're currently at, the we actually yeah get the shrines i felt like i was doing a lot of the side quests like i felt like, i felt like i was doing so much to, uh, yet it was never sure enough that uh, we can teleport back and so we actually throw and it was like right there i know you can see maybe exactly i was doing so i was probably missing a lot of stuff throw a topaz, uh, um but i don't know i felt like they they wanted a lot from me and that's how i felt about the game that it required a lot from me and there's one uh, but huge. maybe I just played the game wrong, never really honestly, which is very before, impossible. Never died yet, um, and used fairy, but at the same time, like, uh, there's not really a sure wrong way to play a game, right? The most used um, item. It works later for our duplication. I'll show you uh, when we get there in a second. But we so, yeah, but I did have a good time with it. I, I got to Leeway. Topaz. I got all the way uh, to... I, uh, I met uh, this my guy called... Uh, there's child happens, no worries. the we'll the red hair the guy same thing over i again. got all the way to uh, child and, keep walking. I, I, for some and um right there, and that was it uh, then i got like thing. locked behind uh, the rank yeah, thing so i did a bunch of side sure quests our menuing is perfect and i just never managed to get my rank and, up so uh, i just eventually next like, part is a ton of inventory management our only goal right now is to go to game they should add a mode where all you do is story i would like that i would like that a lot because I, mean, I was I enjoying the story like a lot. Right now, I don't know why I wasn't uh, enjoying the exploring very right much, now. though. Because the, the world is how. beautiful. I mean, you have like, to there's open the gates. You have to do I, I have thing. nothing against, a, like, somehow, the world. Oh, down there. Uh, um, or 
Uh, and the, the, the combat was fun too. I had this character <laughs> and I'll you called exactly Yang Fei, and she did like this heavy attack, attack that was uh, very satisfying to do. But trust me, it is um, so worth it. I think that was like the best uh, character I had, one probably. <laughs> the most nerve wracking parts of the entire run. And then I, I never got so, anything good uh, on the gacha. <laughs> I only got one five star and it was like a sword or something. It, it has me shaken and quaking. Uh, so yeah. Uh, we want to get rid of all of our it's weapons. a lot of your time. Uh, and we want to yeah. Shield. You have to log in every day when you're resin. Take out our bow. Yeah, it's a lot. I need this 12 times. If we were to continue playing the game and got all the, the way to Fontaine, you'd love uh, the exploration be there. Doing something it's very beautiful. Summer. I've seen, I've seen like the, some images of it. Like the underwater is very, really very nice. You're about to see a lot of no, I've never played the Binding of, the, of Isaac. No. So, our people right love that game. People are obsessed with that game. Right now, we are directly above <laughs> Ganon's lair. Uh, where you fight Ganon's army before the end of the game, beep, 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 uh, and then go into. I've been kind of like looking at ZZZ Z Z Z uh, a little so bit, right but exactly I feel like above it right now. I've heard like some of my so friends' thoughts ground, on we'll the game, fall far enough, and uh, I don't know if I would like it. Rest of the game. However, uh, in order to do but, uh, that, but but it, it look, the games look really good. Like where the collision very very in the ground doesn't detect us. Uh, where it doesn't Island. exist anymore. We nice. actually load the game with so many. You have no space. Like, so yeah, many, those games are uh, massive. So much that uh, the game. I remember, like when I downloaded Genshin, I wanted Japanese sure voices. That, you know, we can still function. And like I downloaded the game, it was it took forever to download. Effects. And then I was like, started so playing. It was right English. I was like, okay, I'm gonna change the language to Japanese. Map, you have to download the Japanese patch, and it was another like I don't know how many gigs. And it was like, come on, dude, like. <laughs> why is it like so? Why is everything so huge? Again, you know. Take out our bow again, and then take out our bow again. Easy force too much. Keep doing that. Aspects, so then link if you know, holds you know. like twelve bows at the. Oh, same is it like the game dating like the character? Or like, is it like social <laughs> aspect? So it'll overload or something? Uh, a lot of it, and so uh, <clears> if never we get into that, Genshin. Yeah, I, I, I gotta be honest. I didn't like. My phone became an oven. Yeah, I can't imagine that. I remember playing Cookie Run when I was younger and my phone was always like... You know when you were like charging your phone? But the phone is still losing battery? <laughs> that was my experience with mobile games in general. Well, Like you're... You're, <laughs> right, you're so charging your phone yet you're still losing battery. Taken out. We want to take out our Baiting certain types of this people is exactly who like non-friendly. We, mm. we had forward, we press A to control. I see, I see. And immediately we I don't like that. That's fair. The game is overloaded and that, that's it cannot fair. Uh, essentially function properly. <laughs> so now beep, 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 we glitched the game pretty badly. They have and a lot of games. I can't wait for MiHoYo or uh, HoYoVerse really to launch like a fighting game or something. Or like a racing game. While we're falling to the Ganon fight, if you remember from the very beginning, uh, before it's called said, fan service. Is There's a uh, fan service. I feel like it's a broader term. Fan service can mean a lot of things. So what we're gonna do here? Uh, fan service can mean can mean like even references to past games, for example. Like imagine you're playing like we really want to uh, Genshin two. Imagine like they make sure a lot of rich references to Genshin fight. one. Uh, you'll see that is considered like fan service as well. But as we're falling, we're gonna be duplicating a ton of Of course, there's no Genshin two. I'm just like saying stuff. But directional pads. References to past titles can be. The Ganon fight because it's slightly can be considered us. fan service. Um, so we're doing the same thing of holding the fairies uh, and then pressing mm -hmm. Y and D while we're falling. If we were fighting uh, so game character, what archetype can, would uh, you be? All Me? I would be a having the same exact thing <laughs> as. Uh, uh, I'd be a rushdown masher character. While you're mid -air, I would have a DP. Actually, uh, <laughs> this menu and I'll be hella fast. Uh, so I'll be chip. A lot for the Don't worry, I will speed this up because it takes. Uh, quite a oh, lot monkey! I, I love monkeying around. <laughs> we're, topaz, we're gonna be using the topaz to <clears throat> throw and defeat enemies. That's the way we deal damage. Because it has oh, you mean like yeah? You mean like that kind uh, of fan service? Yeah, I see. I see. To the enemies, we had Honkai we'll Impact Third and now Honkai Star Rail. Hence, Does that imply we're getting, getting so a Genshin Star Rail? Well. So if an enemy hits us, we <laughs> you play us Paimon and you eat stars. I don't know. I also live because of a fairy. It was very nerve-wracking because we have no save points from here on out. I I want to see a point crow beat this blindfolded. So that's gonna be awesome. And then once we're My heart done, fighting uh, games Overwatch and Smash Bros. Uh, as much as possible. <laughs> My favorite fighting games. Ground. It's not where we want to be yet, <laughs> but this is exactly where we. Well, this is exactly uh, the halfway point to the Ganon fight. So, 
Well, what's uh, happening? Why is he dying? Our second steering stick. This is also why we went particularly. To Me when I'm not paying attention to the video. Wait, what's happening? I don't get it. Give us three. The game is very particular. So sometimes it'll load objects. Sometimes it will not load objects. Okay. Depending on how much things are loaded in the game, how much is in memory. What you just need to know is that we are on the very edge of clipping inbounds and clipping out of bounds. Depending okay. On what link is Thank you wearing. for explaining that. I see. And that really nice has about, a lot uh, of good fan service for fight, people who played Impact Third. Uh, uh, is that it enters a cutscene, we take so, so, no wait, fall so damage, and then Honkai Impact to is fight different Ganon's from army. Honkai Star Rail? I thought that was the third, strategy. the same it thing. Comes into play. Uh, so we're going to just <laughs> look away for two seconds and it, I don't know what's happening. Oh yeah, I know you can just throw topazes and like kill everything. We want to throw a far one, we want to throw another far one, and then we want to throw It's so funny. Because we want to make sure that the big boss goblin in the back is being dealt damage to. While They're different units. So are they both games by Hoyo first? So as you see here, we can still do damage to ourselves, but then we want to keep throwing towards that boss goblin. Hoyo first has four games now? Um, ah. do Why do they have you know, names, games with such, like, far, similar names, though? Close. So you have Genshin Impact, Honkai Impact, uh, and Honkai Star Rail, and ZZZ5? Uh, Which one am I missing? That's crazy, they make so many games. Oh, they are rich, rich. And, we don't have our, and I know uh, the salaries that they pay for artists at least are not great. Hearts of Themis. Uh, that one's not as famous. We use a new right? strategy uh, uh, called, I guess, recall turning, where we get recall. I hold up on the direction pad and then I press X to cancel it. So then I can still turn uh, without doing uh, too too much. Oh, so but how do you know where the enemy? You know, uh, basically, you you turn and you cancel recall immediately, so you can just. You know, what if I run out of fairies? Like. So we do it again right here, uh, knowing that I killed that one uh, archer. Uh, we're going to turn left here, so I press left. Oh, you right know you're missing then, them. Uh, wow, that's crazy. And then we throw one more far. When you hope an oil, oil up there, uh, five the yeah, That's fair. The very, very end. That I is see. The hardest part of army because Demon King's I'm very army surprised that Honkai Star First Rail is a different thing from Honkai in part. The third one being Gibdos, I never understood like why people Bobbles. refer to it with uh, different so names, but now I understand. The second hardest part of the, of the army what we need to do is go uh, to the right twice. Genshin Honkai so Star Rail and the waves are all free um, true so we actually deal damage to all we live in an era where similar to that uh, of the goblins we live in an oh, no weird two. era where uh, it's over to the uh, everyone expects left. everything so do, to be free uh, you know, to the upper left. I actually didn't like I think I people shoulder, are a little bit until, spoiled uh, like in a good way I right because for the first time uh, because the company spoil us now this is where a lot of a lot of practicing a lot of um, people are all like left, used to it be part of the free right stuff or like on, at least know, stuff with like free versions so it's left, crazy to me I when people the, go uh, oh yeah clip studio paint i'm not getting it like it's, it's, now, you gotta pay for it so i'm not getting it and it's like 20 bucks you know and to me that's insane because i i come from a different era i guess where like you know if you wanted like a drawing program like without pirating it you had to get like photoshop which was like a thousand bucks uh, you know, and now it's like a subscription like, as service. As possible. Um, so use one topaz to deal with the So like for example, um, topaz slightly later, Clip Studio Paint being twenty five like just bucks is crazy. I use Ibis, yeah, Ibis Paint, like it's got like the free version, right? And then you can also pay for it. But uh, there's the free version that plays ads and all that stuff. If you take the Topaz, it's so insane to me that like you're drawing and you've got like ads on your program. It's a completely different like it's a completely different uh reality. Yeah, from when I was like gone. growing up, uh, learning how to do uh, art. To, to this, uh, wave. And it's interesting. The demons and a lot of people are like drawing on their phone. If you're an it's it's person, definitely a very interesting time for the rest for, of like, the uh, entire game. Upcoming artists, for sure. Of the I came here from you too. Hello, welcome on in. That we have to face against Kolgera, Muktarak, mm -hmm. the Queen Gipto, I look a little different from uh, YouTube because I'm 3D today. We're trying to speed run here. I'm 21 to be fair, just like Ibis Bane. That's fair. That's fair. I sorry, I, I I didn't mean to what like just do. Uh, was a, it's uh, just in general because the people who comment game, on my videos are um, usually you very down, young, and, and I know a lot of them again, are using like Ibis Paint sure. it's another way of, uh, and uh, if you, uh, can't, a lot of like upcoming. With, oh, he's gonna uh, clip out of bounds. Here. And then we set ourselves up. To yeah, I know a lot of people do that. So you're gonna be hearing you kind of just call me out. I'm drawing on free. Yeah, hell yeah. It's not a bad call out, you know. And the muck rock. Bye. Once again, it's for sure not a bad call out at all. 
clip I think it's great that all these things can be the done for free. And when I was younger, I we had to, you know, to quote, we had to do legally download these, programs. <laughs> as I mentioned before, with uh, actors loading and unloading, Avatar's OC is amazing. Uh, Link actor super unloaded. I plan on um, buying their subscription uh, service because it has an anti AI tool. Uh, oh, shoot. that's so cool. That's really cool. Else. And for they did a so long, uh, for some reason, um, we couldn't you. figure out exactly how to clip in this fight until I realized I see. that it was because Link and I kitchen. Oh yeah, Limbus Company. I know on. someone so who. Pants, we were uh, able to clip this fight, so you, you guys uh, know I'm on Wildcard, uh, right? Bows, the, there's this YouTube channel called Wildcard, and I make thumbnails for this, one of the YouTubers there. I make thumbnails for Gui. Um, and there's one of the fellow like Wildcard, Wildcard workers. Who started making go. a lot of uh, started making a lot game. of content about is, Limbus Company. This might surprise you. That's how I know of it. Right now. Hey Alice, because this is I such a cool way to watch along. I yeah, yeah, yeah I love it. <laughs> I, I'm not too sure if I actually made it. I realized I have <clears> no <throat> idea. Yeah, I have. I I'm a proud no Ivis Payne phone and finger art. That's really cool. I think that's awesome. Honestly, I do want to get a better program. I think like if it works for you. Then the, you know, I use like uh, I use for example uh, nowadays everyone uses like screen tablets, right? I only got a screen tablet recently because I wanted like a third monitor. Yes, I've got three monitors if you count my tablet. <laughs> like currently, I'm watching the Point Pro video on my tablet. But before that, like I only got it because of that. But for over ten years, I used my like regular, um, not this play tablet. You know. Um, mm -hmm. So whatever yeah, no, works for you. I've done uh, what's your favorite it, hero in uh, Hero uh, Academia? I don't think I have one. I, do I watched it for a while, but I of none of the characters really I stood so out to me. That I wouldn't be able to get it, and I really didn't want to duplicate items. Uh, I was paying this free on mobile, but if you use it on PC, you have to buy. Uh, you only get one hour per day for free. Oh my god, it's like a free demo every single day. Oh my god. Okay. I can't believe Point is doing this blindfolded. Oh my god. Oh my god, it worked! Oh, oh my god! Okay, okay. This is so insane. Okay. okay. All us left. Mm -hmm. Afternoon, Ganon, afternoon. Game and Dragon, and catch Zelda. Sometimes I feel like a bad artist because my art takes me more than just the digital. But why? Well, there's a lot of things that can still I focus go on wrong. it, and even things right. can use the the part is I don't think taking more than uh, one. I think uh, the, the time it takes you to do art is such like a a relative subjective thing, you know. This literally means nothing. And we kind of need a hope I bought it back when there was a full and live version. Feels bad. Oh well. wait, sorry. What do you mean? Uh, you bought it back when it was. Work, oh, I just paint whenever I can. Fair on. I I got Procreate on iPad. Uh, but this is very embarrassing. I lost my Apple pencil. And I know this is like the most like freaking spoiled brat thing. I mean, I bought it myself, so right, you know, it's not really the same thing. But like sure I lost my Apple pencil. I don't know where it is. So I haven't used my uh, my top, my iPad in months. Cuz I just don't know where my Apple pencil is. I've looked everywhere. I don't know where it is. I know one day I'll find it. Uh yeah, I lost my pen pine Apple Apple pen. Um yeah, like I'm sure it's somewhere I'll find it someday. Um but yeah, that's why I haven't used my iPad in a long time. Um, this entire time that I'm doing, uh, King I, I store, used it when I was like, you know, drawing on the go. Uh, that, that was I pretty good. And enough fairies, but um, uh, to be able to defeat him. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. There's a couple different strategies that we have for every single. You haven't heard it in years. Come on, don't tell me you didn't think of it. <laughs> when you read Apple Pen, you didn't think of it. A little bit more swag. I've got a brand new UG tablet, but it collects dust now because I can find a good drawing app I'm comfortable with. Oh, I see. Honestly, like, uh, take your time. Like, there's no rush, you know? There's no rush jumping into digital. If you enjoy traditional, keep doing that. If one day you feel like, you know, if one day you feel like going back, trying again, that's great. that he spawns a bunch of his minions around him. And the reason why. Is, uh, what mm. we here is we actually just want to let you end up buying a new pen and then the pencil. old one shows up yeah I don't want to do that the thing is my my Apple pencil and my iPad are pretty old all of them like I have a gen 1 Apple pencil uh, I don't even know if they sell those anymore 
and then take Link off of his Link's Company is another gotcha game. That's cool. I love the game because the story is amazing. I that that person from Wildcard was very like it's Frey. They make a lot of really cool videos on that, and they're getting like they're getting very successful. They 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 have very good views on their videos from what I've like. Um, um, they still yeah, sell it? Okay, that's so good I to know. Do, do you like Lucky Star? Really I didn't... Nice. So I watched I watched Lucky game Star game in like my pre-teen yeah, years. We should be good to go. A long time ago, uh, but I unfortunately I didn't watch it until the end. But I I, I look at it very fondly. So while I didn't finish it, I I I do feel like if you ask me if I like it, I'll say yes. But I did drop it as a kid. Because I only have a hundred remaining, and I'm on phase two, so I'm like, okay, cool. I still I actually also don't know. I also dropped Haruhi. I know this is embarrassing, but I did. I thought it was very boring. And I need to hope that I hit most of my shots, because if I don't, I'm gonna have to do the past now twenty. I have to delete all my art from Twitter because I've heard their dolphins. Oh uh, yeah, they are. They are unfortunately. But you can opt out of it. You can opt out the same way uh, Instagram allows you to do that. Dude, the the freaking the the ads on Twitter are the worst. The ads on Twitter are so. I only get recommended like right wing propaganda shit. It's uh, like, huh? Is because technically the game thinks that like, we're both in the why am I getting this? Like, I do not interact with this type of content at all. The but I, I only get, door, like, right-wing uh, we stuff. Fight. Conservative, so, uh, like, ads. And we're also it's so crazy to me. It's like, oh, yeah, a true family is a man and a woman. And I'm like, I did not sign up for it. I don't give a shit. It's so crazy. Yeah, please only give me cheat on ads uh, or something. So, uh, that is why that's happening. Have you watched any of the precures? Yes, I have. I've ha I've watched several of them. Uh, my favorite is Hard Catch. <clears throat> I was getting uh, comfy it? things when I'm trying to watch post about game up. You just you gotta keep you gotta stay on the uh, following split. tab. You can't go to the for you page. You gotta stay really? on the following tab, and even then you'll get like weird abs ads. It's so bad. Oh oh oh, oh sorry, I forgot. Bill Musk right now is struggling with the transition uh, of his yeah, son to daughter, so he's literally okay, pushing okay. everything he can about. I think he's fun. like, oh my god, all right, he's all go. like, he's oh just like god. that. Like uh, he's really have, like, working very hard five, to make uh, Trump well, win the election. Here, and then Zelda, he's doing his best, but yeah, that's you know, we do all this and don't really want to bring that here, but yeah, it's crazy. My favorite was Fatariwa because it was the first. I Futariwa Purikiwa uh, is the we, is one I haven't watched yet. <laughs> it's a little embarrassing because it's the first one. I feel like I gotta watch it eventually, but I I just haven't had the uh, chance to. Oh my hmm. god! <laughs> Spent three years of getting uncomfy. Wow, even on people you followed. Okay, okay, okay. I can still feel. Drag. You're probably still following drag. the wrong people. Yeah, I got it. I know I have to. <clears throat> For the first, it's, it's really good. Yet. That's nice. Uh, 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 dare I I'm a big uh, Izumi Todo fan. Izumi Todo is the like the animation like there's group. It's like the, don't even the, the people run. who make all the precures. They made Asuka no Naja. They made Zelda is me. They made genuinely one of the hardest uh, like so of many of like the early 2000s, late 90s Kodomo anime of from Toei. If you never actually get the <clears> uh, of course, sorry. No, no problem, Kali. You were you were on topic. No, no need to apologize. It's just like yeah. For some reason, has the master sword. Quite so bad, got Doremi's ending. <laughs> it's such uh, so, like a, it's such a classic show. Now you might have heard uh, that I said Doremi oh, is so 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 to, good. You know, not do the dragon first <clears throat> try, and that's actually by design. It's crazy uh, to me that we, we so many people follow me and they love my art then, uh, without knowing the where it comes from. You know, uh, like without it, knowing like these early two thousands, late nineties, Kodomo shows. You know, like Doremi, you know, like both basically the Izumi Todo work. Maybe I'll need to make a video, like, if you like my art, watch this video. Like, go watch anime, go watch anime. Like, if you like my art, don't go and tell me you don't like anime. So the first try is like, it's a different for some reason than every other try that you've ever done. So we're going to attempt to see if we can do it here. To watch Doremi in Catalan. I watched it in Portuguese. Dragon is it's probably very crazy, similar. Uh, to the point where uh, it's just a little <laughs> bit odd. So, 
you might initially uh, I follow a lot of artists on Twitter, some VTubers. And I disagree. That's it basically. The hardest parts of the run. Uh, full stop. I used to have like a uh, personal so, uh, account on I Twitter, um, but I just like I don't uh, use it anymore because it was mostly like Smash Bros, uh, and then, uh, um, related myself. stuff, and I'm not into Smash Bros <laughs> anymore. <laughs> so yeah, that account so is just like I follow a bunch is, of Smash Bros uh, people, and I feel bad fight, like just in following them. So, we'll, we, we're so I just don't use the account very much because every time I open it, it's just like Smash Bros discourse. Like, oh, Steve is broken. And that is why I was what is he doing so much because we are good to go. Uh, but if we die here, we start the uh, fight over again. And if you remember anything from the past, wait, uh, what is Eric hours, doing? What is he doing? Uh, explanation is that we really value normalization. We always want to know the position that we're at. Is he trying to die? If we die, then we respawn on Zelda and we know exactly. Okay, he wants to die. Okay, gotcha. Zelda, All right, he's trying to die. And also, the demon dragon will take us. Well. The chat, so uh, chat is like, is he supposed to be doing this? To to okay, 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 he was trying to die. All right, all right, all right. And so each eye for Demon <laughs> Everyone in chat was so confused. Strategy. This is one of the hardest parts because it is anything from an auto scroller. It'll look like Demon Dragon snaps I on see. to you and you can just like immediately go to the eye. It is anything but. This is as if I was falling from any random sky island onto a very small piece of a shrine. You have to be extremely precise with this. Mm. So we lock our camera all the way down so it's looking directly at Link. We're holding up left and we are also running off. Those are also incredibly This important. is crazy I setting listen, up. I what use the heck? Music here to determine when I need to dive. Right this here, part of the game is so cool. I dive and then I press down. Portuguese opening and up Winx Club. Boop. Winx. I, uh, I, I don't I remember the rest. Winx. Go at the amount of me. I don't remember the rest. Oh, I don't know the lyrics. I forgot. I forgot. But I used to watch that. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get normalization. If Zelda does it, catch us. And we keep going down. Please. <laughs> I like that a lot. It I remember that used to be a lot of like a big rivalry uh, between um and then Zelda is always on the same between uh on the same tracks and always does the same thing. Winx so and Witch. One, do, which are completely we different to, uh, shows, like for completely Zelda, different Zelda, demographics, Zelda. I feel. Because <laughs> but because the names were similar. Available that it can. People Basically would like pit Zelda them stops. against each other. Uh, so we're going to uh, do some recall. <laughs> Didn't which two winks? I have no idea. Uh, a little bit but I know that people were like a lot. Like time. people would pit uh, them against so each other. You know, it's very important. Uh, at the time, like you, you were either a Winx fan or a Witch fan. Like you couldn't like both. <laughs> it was like Pokemon and Digimon. You know, like back in the early 2000s, you could not like both. Okay. So if I look to the it was like, I remember, I, I was a Digimon girly, uh, so see, my brother yeah, was a Pokemon the girly, the so like, we were always like, arguing. He was always like, no, Pokemon is much better than Digimon, and I'll be like, no, Digimon is better, uh, because the Digimon can evolve anytime they want to, and then they go back to being small. Yeah, you could only like one, you could not like two. <laughs> you could not like both of them. <laughs> That's the biggest crime. So then we activate that cutscene one more time. There's four different eyes here. Disney uh, sued Winx Club for copyright, uh, saying Winx stole the uh, idea of which. Aren't they completely uh, different, strategy, though? Uh, uh, thank you, I feel like it's just the name. Even the vibe is, like, completely different. Uh, so this one is very weird because we actually don't use any did, camera did, I assume Disney did not win Zelda that case because sure Winx still exists. Um, or Zelda is in the exact position, and then we can Winx came before Winx, did it? That's is, insane if they did that then. This, like, pseudo cutscene right here. So what we want to do is we want to uh, go to the left here and immediately start diving upwards. Uh, so we dive upwards, and okay. then you'll see just a second. They didn't we'll win, yeah. To the left, or sorry, up into the right just a tad. Um, and it's just it's just by feeling. There what is, is no, he like, doing? Music for that one at all? You just go by vibes, and then you know that the eye is generally to the uh, behind you. Okay. Uh, you, you yeah, you great know, job. It should be like around. Holy you. crab! Uh, that is one of the more difficult. Classic Disney L. Uh, but the next eye, eye number If four, I speak. <laughs> uh, because if I speak, diving and undiving. I'm in and, big trouble. And, 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 and <coughs> It all I, I'm so glad, like, Japan is usually so timing. chill, like, when it comes to anime <laughs> and, and stuff, the they're so chill with, like, fan art and, like, is by the, music the so-called, like, dojin, dojin, uh, content, um, which is, like, you know, transformative like, content, like, fan art, all that stuff, but Disney? Holy crap. 
so for this one uh, i mean anime used to be chill now they're, chill. now they're not chill because of crunchyroll because crunchyroll it's thinks they deal. own uh, the intellectual in property uh, then I get a little of bit like the the anime uh, uh, so like they've been yeah, even really going like to artist alleys like trying to like activate, give uh, cease and desist to, right. to artists and at artist alleys um i've messed up selling like oh, fan no. art of anime I gotta do this of anime that is on crunchyroll so, uh, which to me is like insanity they destroyed miku uh, expo wait what happened you anything at the very end of the game you have to essentially do that whole segment all over again uh and, and dragons particularly what happened with miku expo because, uh, yeah so I, I i got beef with crunchyroll a couple of years ago because i i was selling Don't stuff on etsy like exists. emotes for twitch of, of chainsaw process, man so and i got a bunch of like uh, emails uh, like right from the, crunchyroll uh, going like actually like, like you know threatening you know to sue me and stuff because i was like you know and like i never got my status as star seller on etsy and like I'm unable to get Star Seller on Etsy because of that. Right, so we activate um, here, and we that's why I kind of gave up on Etsy right. because like and if you can't be a Star Seller, like what's the point? The um, and uh, because like yeah, it's their intellectual property, so and I'm like, in, you're uh, just right like a distributor. Swell, then we go to the right. You are not like upwards. the intellectual property holder of this, but Until, whatever. Like I'm not a lawyer. I don't know how right that here. works. I'm just a little guy swell. trying to, you uh, know, make five dollars <laughs> for, for some emotes, you know. Tap to the right. And it's not like I can complain because it's it. not like Chainsaw Man da, belongs da, da. to me either, you know. Uh, one more dive um, and we literally just look for but uh, but uh, but uh, but uh, I think I missed it. I don't want to do it again until we. But then they started uh, going on at uh, like American cons, <laughs> actually giving cease and desist like to the people. However. We have one more thing of People will not go to Crunchyroll to purchase merch. This Does Crunchyroll sell merch? Do want Zola to catch us because it makes it a lot faster. And less money to so be able to create more. Uh, no, Kogi, Crunchyroll does not create anime. Crunchyroll is not uh, the creator the of the anime. Sure are, the like, it's like, it's not their intellectual property. Like, Chainsaw Man belongs to... And like the the mangaka and go down to like and i don't know if it's mappa i don't know which well. studio it is that makes the the, the anime no, 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 crunchyroll no, is just a distributor no, no, no. like they're not making anime you see that we go back left right there? they just like and the buy the rights i guess to like to put the anime on their website and like do the subtitle uh, and somehow so this takes us normally like 10 tries i guess somehow, okay if they sell merch i guess that's different demon dragon the first original try. anime i mean if it's their original Here's anime then anime. sure but first yeah try. first try first try but yeah that's kind of um... oh my god i've never gotten that first try there we go fun crow did it he did freaking blindfolded <laughs> Tears of the kingdom that's crazy oh my god oh my god but yeah i don't know it's i i, I think it's incredibly petty because Japan has always had a big culture of fan art, you know, Comic Cat is a thing. Uh, and like, I don't want to be like those freaking weebs who are like, Oh, the West is ruining the anime industry. But like, in this case... Yes! In this case, I'll have to agree with like, the, okay. the, the, the weebs, because it's Please like... Catch Japan has a very Please healthy, uh, run. has is a very healthy relationship with fan the art. The they have cons that are dedicated to dojin, uh, material. They, they have Comic Cat, which is basically a fan art convention. Um, you know, it's a fan art convention for indie artists who make indie content of existing media and franchises. Okay. So, like, why is the American company giving us flack there for it like now you know i i no i think it's america no you know butting in on there stuff it doesn't no have to butt in where you are but in this plane yeah you could be i don't know for hours but girl is the craziest thing yeah he does he's got a lot of uh perseverance 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 oh no no he's nowhere close to her no Okay, I guess you can't miss her? What? I didn't know you could miss her. I mean, you can't. This is so funny. 
This looks so funny. What if they fight? What if they fell? No! To the right! What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, the music oh. looping is very funny. Oh no! Zelda's gonna die, y'all. <laughs> Look at her appearing in the corner. That's so funny. No! Well, <laughs> we are dropping. Where are we dropping? <laughs> oh my god. Come on! No! <gasps> yeah! Okay. <laughs> Took a while. Well, that was awkward. Oh, has he pressed it? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah! Yes! Go! Oh, we did it! Let's go! <laughs> yes! Yes! That's awesome. Oh how is he doing this with hundreds and hundreds of hours of practice oh and God. studying and memorizing? Oh, that was crazy. I'm a little oh teary-eyed. I'm a little misty-eyed. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, we did it. Oh, that's that's amazing. Yeah. Tears of the kingdom blindfold. <coughs> he oh, did it. And he wasn't even the oh first person God. to do it, nor the that's second. Nice. Oh my god, we did it! We did Which is it. the craziest to me. Dude, I love this game. This was, uh, an insane video but I know I will so never love this game as much as Point Pro. Uh, if you like this video, <laughs> subscribe. I'll see you guys in another one. <clears throat> That's crazy. He has a bunch of, like... Of course, you guys probably know Point Pro. Like, if you know... Like, I don't know, he's a much larger creator than I'll ever be. Um, he does a lot of, like... Really funny, like, um... Challenges. Like, Zelda challenges. Uh, very very cool can you can you do a straight line like to cross tears of the kingdom can you not touch colors uh, <clears throat> so yeah this video is also really good i really like punk rose content um pretty pretty neat he also does stuff with his goldfish which is very funny um yeah overall really good ah i'm glad i watched that video thank you guys for keeping me company while I watch that video. <laughs> but I think I'm going to call it a day. I think I'm going to go rate someone. Sorry the streams have been so short lately. I haven't gotten really used to the, the new schedule, I guess. So, you know, I'm still, like, um, figuring out figuring out some stuff. Uh, we're going to be rating OCO, uh, who is doing a partner push on Twitch. Uh, she's trying to, like, get Twitch partner. And she's so, 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 so close. So, I hope you guys um, can give her some love. <clears throat> I'm glad I could pop in. Yeah, of course. I appreciate you popping in. And, um, but I just arrived at them. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're going to have to watch me play Monster Hunter. <laughs> it's dead. <clears throat> so, yeah. Please stay for the raid, guys. Don't go anywhere. Uh, go give Osio a lot of love. Because she's so, 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 so close to partner push. Uh, two partners, so let's, uh, so the raid message is gonna be, uh, partner nudge. Partner nudge, and you can put, like, some hearts or some emotes. Uh, so yeah, this is gonna be, like, the raid message I want you guys to send on, uh, Osio's chat when we get there. And you can put, like, a, a little emote or, so or something like that, uh, if you guys want. So yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow with some art. Uh, I still don't know what I'm gonna be drawing, but I hope to see you guys there. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Um, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.